Twitch might also be be an asshole. There so I go. I may have thought I was streaming, but mm -hmm. I guess I forgot to hit the start stream button a half hour ago when I thought I started streaming. It hey, happens. Look, uh, we... I've had a day. I'm pretty low energy. I apologize in advance. There we go. Mm -hmm. hey, hey, it's it's it is understandable. I'm not. Yeah, I'm not gonna. I've anyway. I've had a day where my anxiety is getting the best of me, so I apologize I, in advance. I fully understand. Hi, uh, everybody. Sorry, uh, uh, goofs aside, oh, they didn't get hear the bit about the Drunken Master Two. Now I'm disappointed. You what well, you think Drunken Master Two is the best movie of all time? Hey, yeah, I love Drunken Master Two. All right. You talked a lot about it, and then the stream yeah. started. And then the stream started. I uh, really like Drunken Master 2. It is a fantastic he movie. He said it could beat up Jurassic Park and King Kong, and I didn't understand what he meant by that. So if you know, leave right. it in the comments. Jackie Chan. Yes, Anyways. that is a Jackie Chan movie. Jack Chan. Uh, Name four things that are not Jack Chan. Go. Uh, bananas. Uh huh. Walmart. Uh huh. Netflix. Uh huh. Spam. Oh. And ruining... Daniel Radcliffe oh. as Weird Al Yankovic. You're you're ruining the <laughs> bit. <laughs> you're supposed the fourth thing it's is a... supposed to be Jackie Chan. Everyone goes ah. Right, but like I wanted to do it right because it is a very easy no, thing to do. You're doing it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Look, name You're five really birds. That. Name five really birds. Mean. Uh, big bird. Uh, <laughs> uh. See now you're Are supposed they... to yell. I'll name ten birds. I'll name a hundred birds. <laughs> oh, yeah, friendly Lee Mulligan. Yeah. See, I don't yeah. know that bit. So, well, you need to watch more Game Changer, or learn a second oh, yeah. bird. Man, only bird. Big Bird, huh? Only Big Bird, yeah. He's the best bird. Now, are we are we naming uh, media birds that are in the media, or are we just naming birds in general? Uh, birds. Well, the intent when the question was asked was, like, bird species. Not like, that bird is named Jim, that bird is named Woodstock. I meant more like... Cockatiel, I said chicken. I could have said Woody Woodpecker. Oh, I could have had a V8. <laughs> <laughs> Forehead. Oh. Oh. Can't believe it's not butter. I can't believe. Uh, what? Well, not butter. With that energy, uh, let's talk about everyone's favorite part of the show. Who remembers what happened last time? Uh, we met a second Gallus. Yeah, that's pretty much what happened. Except when this one found... this one had hair. Uh, fabulous hair. Yes. See, Swayze see Tito, and Roadhouse Tito hair. is the Ken to Gallus's Ryu. Tilo with an L, not another yeah. T. Yeah, Tilo, Tilo, Tilo is... played specifically by Roadhouse Patrick Swayze. Roadhouse. Roadhouse. <laughs> <laughs> Did that a halfling house. Yeah, Patrick elf. Swayze would, would be great. Yeah. Yeah. The halfling hell's help were um, betraying their fellow halflings in an attempted rebellion. Yeah. Fucking yeah. Halfling. They uh they gave up an agent of the Bellflower Network, which is kind of a big deal. That is the underground railroad of Chiliax. Sorry, I've returned from the abyss. I was uh, yelling at someone for being ableist. Ah, in, important. In one of my discords. That was important. If oh, also, uh, Tilo, if we couldn't get Patrick Swayze from Roadhouse, we could uh, a second choice could be uh, Kurt Russell from <laughs> Big Trouble in Little China. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Both yeah, magnificent hair. Both magnificent hair and beautiful mm -hmm. men. 
Ya. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, before peace, I Patrick forget, Swayze. I had just been listening to you guys talk about it while I was typing those long messages. Uh, speaking about Jet Li reminded me of my mom's favorite movie, Romeo Must Die. Mm, and I just classic. had flashes to that movie, watching it as like a four-year-old. I love that movie. It's incredible. It's it's a good I movie. It's just I haven't seen it in so long. It caught me off guard when my brain pulled up the file. They had CSI murder sequences before CSI. It was great. I've not <laughs> seen this movie, and I'm looking at the synopsis for it, and it's like this martial arts take on Shakespeare's famous tragedy. I'm like, yeah, interesting. Yep. Yeah, that's it's. You just have to watch it to experience this movie. It's a. It's a thing. Also, Aaliyah and Jet Li don't kiss in the movie for very specific reasons, and I'm happy they don't. Because I'm pretty sure her character is 16 and he's an adult. You know, yeah. And now I'm also reminded of that version of Romeo and Juliet with John Leguizamo. And it was like modern gangsters, but they still yeah. talk Shakespeare. Buzz. Baz Luhrmann's Romeo X Juliet. Yeah. Baz Luhrmann. I saw the clip of that and I was like, this is trippy. Their handguns literally have sword, sword nine, nine millimeter, millimeter stamped on them. Yeah. <laughs> and then one sword. time in the book, they mention a long sword. It's Romeo's dad, and he has a shotgun that has long swords stamped on it. God, I forgot about this movie. movie. I just, I've only seen a clip of it. I was like, this movie's a trip. I've watched that and movie several times, and it never gets less weird. He made that movie, and he made Mouhan Rouge, and he is perfect. Okay, that makes sense. Never mind. I, I didn't know that this was the same person who made Mulan Rouge. There's something about him and Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> I mean, you know, it is what it is. Uh, it's just a weird pattern, but uh, yeah. Anyway, game. game, yeah. Back on, back on track for at least a few minutes before we get sidetracked again. Uh huh. Uh, yeah, you were My told team. that your quest item is in another castle. Fuck. Uh, the house was burgled. <gasps> the yeah. ghost is like, I know who did it. Yeah. And turns out he like, was right. Oh. I know who that is. And then we met the Thieves Guild. And they were like, that's a really old saying, Gallus. Are you sure you want to say that? And Gallus is like, guys, guys, come on. Guys, wait. And then yeah. and then checkered board tiefling lady showed up and everyone's like, hey, yo? No? <laughs> hey, wait, hold on. <laughs> yeah, There's everyone, more important things going on. <laughs> everyone became the cartoon wolf. Go. Yeah. <laughs> everyone, eyes, everyone did jaw that. literally on the floor. Their tongue rolls out like a carpet. Oh, no. <laughs> everyone did that slight lean like, hey, yo. <laughs> I really like that we were like, do you maybe know anything about this medallion? And they were like, yeah, we fucking took it. Yeah, what are you going to do it. about it? <laughs> and we were like, you know. He's like, what are you going to do? Kill us? And we were like, we don't. We want like, to? We like you guys. Too, you guys are hot. You guys are pretty cool. I mean, you she's. I mean, uh, mommy, sorry. Yeah, That's Denara. Okay. Denara had a powerful effect on everybody, but we also took the time at the beginning of this to talk about how amazing Tilo's hair is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So so did Tilo. Well, Tilo and Denara had separate effects on people. Yeah, they're both hot. Is my point. Yeah. This is What's the up, second yes. epi. That was the second episode in a row where like. Where where James introduced a character that had a powerful effect on the group. The first <laughs> one being the BDSM Hell Knight. <laughs> oh yeah. We found out that Charlie knew them. Um uh oh, that yeah. they, did, they worked Yeah. Uh, yeah, Donara had a grudge against you because you bit her sister. Oops. I got too much into my RP at that moment. Can we, I just, like, James, you gave me another blonde, definitely not straight man to interact with. Yeah, but this one is, like, you know, 
in my opinion at least, is much better looking than Riley. Yes, this is true. This is this and is Tilo's, very true. Tilo's not a bitch. This yeah. is also true. Well, Tilo is also kind of gallus. I mean... This is... Yeah. God. I have to say... <laughs> That's when, why he's so marvelous. <laughs> I have to say when Grapes was RPing with um T Tio or Tito um T Tilo with an L. Tilo. <laughs> you know I'm gonna get this mixed up because I'm gonna think of Tito's vodka. Mm. But uh, anyway, um when uh he went Tilo, you son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. I, you son of a bitch. It. I had to mute myself because I was hysterically <laughs> laughing. It was so good. You son of a bitch. You son yeah. of a bitch. And then Tila and... was like, you want your shit? Then go kill a psychopomp. And we were like, and we were like done. Fuck. I also yeah. want to set okay. this. I also want to set the record straight. Me, the player, Oni, while I am gay, I'm too dimmy to feel any attraction for, uh, for Denara. However, my artist brain is going fucking wild over her design. Like, it's it's so good. <laughs> yeah, it is a it is a very, like, distinctive, eye-catching design. Like, I just, the horns! It's, ah! Uh... And then, and Your then horny, off I screen, I made the comment yeah. where is Serial and, what's her name again? Donara? Donara. If they had a child, they, their skin would look like a missing texture from Gmod. Oh. From Source Engine game. <laughs> oh my god, you're black right. Checkerboard. <laughs> That's oh. fantastic. Damn, it's I don't missing have no. the textures loaded. I don't got yes, sort. <laughs> yeah, so... Yeah, well, uh, you left the tunnels, and that is where we're gonna pick up. Yeah. Now that you have been told, uh, you can either go kill this Shoki and bring back the soul staff, and he would trade it for the, the medallion that you want, or you can turn back around and kill everybody. Your choice. I mean, why would we do that, though? We don't know what the benefits are. I mean, it'd be fun. It would probably create serotonin for Surreal at the most, but... The the benefit would be you get to keep all their stuff. Yeah. They do have cool stuff. Yeah. I think Tio, we're, uh... You can talk Tilo about... has a, uh... He's got a fiddle. Oh, wow, a fiddle. Which I'm assuming is his... A, a, an important item. But, uh... I think we're doing the thing where you pick up a quest and then you go explore <laughs> and forget about the quest. Yeah. yeah. So that is that is where I'm going to start us. So I'll, uh, I'll start the bit. Oh, I... Uh, I'm going to start my recording. Yeah, yeah, you should do that. You should do that. Yeah, jeez, Jess, James, yeah. I can't believe you guys hadn't started your recordings by now. I usually start it when the stream goes live, but because our process was disrupted today. Uh, okay, so starting from the bottom, Oni, are you recording? I have been for 20 minutes, fuckers. Okay, no need to be so <laughs> aggro about it. <laughs> uh, Liam, are you recording? Uh, fucker here, recording and ready. Jess, are you recording? Shit here, recording and ready. Okay. Yes. Me, am I recording? Yes, I have verified I am recording. Grapes, are you recording? Yeah. <laughs> All right, then. Sync clap in three, two, one. Our story begins, as such stories often do, with the whole party trying to calm down from being way too turned on. Uh. <laughs> they make fun of me for going to horny jail all the time. Yeah, it's and... Because you go to horny jail way too often. <laughs> yeah, the party just got done having a meeting with a mummy-grade bisexual delight. 
<laughs> in uh, Donara and Tilo. <laughs> Gal- Gallus is like, I don't even swing that way, and I. Uh, <laughs> Look, you can you cannot swing that way, and except when people are fucking attractive. Yeah. No, you didn't, Jess. <laughs> you did not. Literally, not too not long try. ago, you tried to use your tits too. to convince a halfling to be nice to us. We haven't even put you in horny jail for that one yet. Oh yeah, we've also well, established I do my time. that Charlie has mullet tits. Uh, oh, yeah, <laughs> no, not Charlie, <laughs> Jess. Oh, Je- I thought it was Charlie because no, she's no, feral. Charlie, and 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 she's got one, one boob in the back. It's the oh, weird ice for wood magic. The party tit. <laughs> the party tit. Oh, I have and, one party tit. I have one calm tit. The other one's my party tit. <laughs> <laughs> and I had plastic surgery, so everything's back in in, in where, where they're supposed to be. Uh, yay! Yeah, we don't talk about Charlie's freakish tits. <laughs> anyway, it's real. It's real. Um, Look, I'm gonna be honest. The only two people, the only three people who know about Charlie's freakish tits are Suriel. Wait, no, the other two people aren't alive. Never mind. The only person. <laughs> I was gonna say Zane and Uktuk because Uktuk was in the room when she was changing to go on her date with Zane. <laughs> I don't remember yeah. that, but go on. <laughs> he's, but he's dead, dead now. He's dead. He's an orb now. He's an orb. Yeah, he is. He's an orb. Um, uh, speaking of orbs, let's go ahead orb. and do our hero points. You hero remembered! Point. I did. I'm so proud Ooh. of me. I'm proud of you. I'm going to roll my new dice that I hopefully sell today. Ooh. I yeah. rolled a 50. Ooh. I rolled a 16. Nice. Ooh. Look at all these hero Ooh, points. I... Jess? You got a 16 as well. Mm. Damn it. All right. You should have gotten either an 18 or a 14. Jess, you ruined the pattern. I'm just kidding. Oh, I did. Just ruin everything. I'm, j- I'm joking. I know. <laughs> Okay. Reach, reach the screen so, with here. four hero points on the party, uh, you have now <laughs> left the. You're back in the old abandoned aqueduct, uh, section D on the map there. Yes. But it'd help if I had rolled twenty up. <laughs> yeah, <it would. laughs> I'm behind. <laughs> so, what is the move now? Are you gonna be about your errand? Luckily- or is uh? more pressing matter. I believe Gala said he was going to take everyone to Horse Wendy's, but then he, he lied and no, we're going to Shady. No, it was Horse Arby's. Sh- horse Arby's, okay. And then I was like... Hardy's, and then, yeah. And then it was, uh, and then he takes him to Shady Shin's Mystical Mega Store. Looked in Twitch chat, and my friend just said, I'm a bottom. Jane, <laughs> doing the <laughs> Lord's work. <laughs> You know when when you I, said uh, I, I started with the that. bottom and then started with Oni, I was like, I can't believe you just called Oni a bottom. Excuse you? Hey yo, I'm a brat. <laughs> That's different. <laughs> Brad is on the Dom sub spectrum. Top bottom is more logistical. Okay. I'm I'm, I'm being I'm being dead. Yeah, that... But yes, uh. Uh, aunt, aunt lied to us. She, uh, Gallus, <laughs> Auntie Gallus isn't even going to stop at Horse when, uh, Horse Arby's. She's going straight to the fucking store. Or we're and... gonna be one of those kids fest. that like points as we're walking by, like it's right here. Wait, wait, it's right here. Hey, wait, we're passing it. No, we're pa- you guys turn around. Gala stops there, <laughs> orders a large mimosa, and leaves. Large mimosa, damn. Well, it's been a day. He's quite thirsty. Yep. Remember, it's it's always <laughs> eleven a.m. somewhere. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Into uh, Shady Shin's mystical mega store because, like, you. You can't not go there. 
Yeah. The convenience what? factor alone. Exactly. What horrible, disgusting, putrid character have you shown to us? Or are they way too hot? <laughs> Uh, there is no art for Shady Shen, oh. unfortunately. Uh, well, you, as the DM, can make a character. I, yeah, it, I, it's surprising. Uh, there, yeah, that's what I was gonna say. There's no official art for Shady Shen, but what I was gonna say is that uh, I need you to close your eyes okay. and imagine Mr. Wing from Gremlins. Yeah. yeah there we go. Hold on. I don't have that image in my head. Okay. Uh, I, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll get it for you. I got it. I had a very vague silhouette. It was close. Yeah. Uh, if, if, uh, if you are not familiar, anybody listening or anybody who hasn't spoken up, because who can keep track? Uh, just close your eyes and imagine an elderly Asian man with a long beard and a mustache wearing a fez. Yeah. What, it, what if it was Ken Jeong pipe? with a fake beard and mustache and a fez? It could be Ken Jeong, yeah. Just, just old Chang. <laughs> <laughs> I had to look it up because it was like, who's that Asian guy in the hangover? <laughs> like, okay, I'm seeing it. I'm seeing it. I feel like this man could kill us if he really wanted to. Yeah. So uh, you get to the store and it is, there's a big sign in big red letters that says Shady Shen's Mystical Mega Store. And then a smaller sign underneath in smaller letters that say, you're home for totally not stolen merchandise. He's a totally not stolen. <laughs> totally not stolen. Out of character, gonna point. Guys, we found our fence. <laughs> There's a chance we'll find the medallion here. I feel no, like this host has it. I've, Maybe he, he tried to fire. fence it and double cross us. Maybe we'll get lucky. Fingers crossed. I feel like half this town is a fence. <laughs> the other I half love... is the glorious reclamation. <laughs> right. I love that Devlin is so optimistic on trying to find, like, just this has to be deeper than they just stole it and sold it. <laughs> There's no rule saying I have to work hard to get the job done, and if I don't work hard and I succeed, that's incredible. I just, I just love that he's just so for it has to be more than the simplistic plan that's happening right now. <laughs> well, we're not going over the hill to kill the guy, so I have to try something. Otherwise, I'm not doing my job. <laughs> I just love that Devlin is such an optimist. It's like he hasn't everyone else. He hasn't been beaten down by the way this game works yet. God, he's. I mean, he's made it far enough to have like a wife and some kids. So, you know. Oh yeah, but that's all downtime. He hasn't been in plot time yet. Oh like, yeah, I'm just saying. Like the even, question is, will even Devlin two survive? Of us. Even two of our characters in their downtime still got fucked up, so... <laughs> no, no, Devlin will survive because he's a fighter. This oh. is true, Devlin will actually survive. The real gauntlet is, can I survive this group? Maybe See, you know, the high will be question. the end of me. <laughs> you well, right. We, we've established the precedent that fighter will survive, because I have never killed a fighter. Come close. Came close. Several times. Pinned him to the ground. Yeah. Definitely killed the barbarian. Mm. Uh, yeah. Twice. And and yeah. a champion. He was a champion. And a first. champion. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, he was a champion and I killed him, and then he was a barbarian and I killed him. And wow. then you killed him when yeah. And then I killed but him. But anyways. Ghost crab. Yeah. And he was a, he was a phantom. So then you killed him. Well, I killed him. 
yeah. Candy Phantom. Anyways, what Anyways. is like, is this place like maximalist? Like there's just a shit ton of items everywhere? I think a it... superstore. I think of like Walmart. Am I like... So, <laughs> no. Uh, Mega store is like, is, is used like grandiosely. The closest modern equivalent is imagine more like a pawn shop. Oh, oh okay. Can there Where... be cardboard cutouts of Shady Shen like fifty percent off? Wow. <laughs> oh, for sure there are, but all they're wood, Sail. not cardboard. Oh yeah. Good. Yes, yes. But like, yeah, it's it's a wood crudely painted, still holding the pipe, still has the the one glass eye. Because that's the other thing. If you look at Mister Wing, he has a fake eye. Yeah. It, look, it's important to keep the, you know, everything the same. You don't want to confuse the people. Marketing is important. Marketing He's yeah, the only important. one who runs this and shop. And it is, like, every shelf from floor to ceiling is absolutely crammed with a hodgepodge of different items. There is no organization. There is no order. Things are just crammed where they fit. Oh but God, my you can bet your fucking house on the fact that Shady Shen can locate any item without fail on the first try. <laughs> My goodness, they have canned bread here. Oh. <laughs> and and when you enter, he is sitting behind a counter, smoking his pipe and seemingly playing chess against himself. <laughs> he like Play, is suddenly move, overwhelmed. Moves a piece, gets up, goes to the other side, sits down. <laughs> no, no, no. No, not even that. He moves the piece on his side of the board and then uses Mage Hand to move the piece on the other side of the board. Mm. Better. <laughs> also, Surreal is suddenly overwhelmed by the amount of items around her. <laughs> yeah, it's... It, there are so many different things crammed together in so many spaces that it's it's almost difficult to notice an individual thing. It's just there's so much information your brain is overwhelmed. Yeah. But uh, when you do enter, there is a bell above the door. Classic. Ba -ding 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 -ding. Uh, he makes a move and then holds up the one finger. It's like, just a moment, I have customers. And then uh, stands up and kind of makes a show of adjusting his clothing and trying to make himself look presentable even though he's, you know, it, it in no way makes any actual change. He just kind of seemingly does it, force of habit. Yeah. And then with a big long puff on his pipe says, Welcome friends to Shady Shins. You want it? I might have it. You wouldn't happen to have an angel heart, would you? Well, or an hmm. archon heart? Mm, I don't trade in body parts. The, uh, the paladins would not be so kind to that. Oh, hell. But... If it's not alive, well, you know, maybe. We'll see. Devlin uh, puts his hands in his pockets and nods to uh, Shady Shen and says, uh, nice, nice place you got here. And he starts to peruse the aisles. Or if it's counters, he'll just look at the counters. But it is. In here? I feel like there'd be at least one cat in here. Uh, there are no less than five cats. Excellent. I pet one. I pet a cat. Going towards cat. Yeah, and it's... it is, With the exception of the counter at the front, it is shelves. Floor to ceiling. Uh, you know, with aisles that are the double shelf, you know, front and back. Oh, God, it's oh, yeah. like Costco. <laughs> kind of, yeah. It, it looks almost like a tiny warehouse. Just in the way it's laid out. Yeah. Tell me, Mr. Shen, what is the weirdest thing you have in stock? Weirdest? Well, it def depends on your definition of weird. 
Well, show me what you think is the weirdest, and then I show, and we'll go from there. Serial's just, if the cat will let her absentmindedly petting the cat while looking around slightly wide-eyed because she doesn't know what to do do with all of the items around. There's just so much going on. She doesn't know where to start. <laughs> uh, okay. Very so, he goes, all right, all right. Hold on a moment. And he shuffles past you over to a shelf by the door. And he takes out what appears to be a spacious pouch. Uh, that's, and again, I'll... I'll I'll reiterate, that is the remaster name for Bag of Holding. Oh. Okay. He goes, now, I will tell you to reach into this bag and know that all I have placed in this bag ever at any time is apples. Now, reach in. Try to pull an apple. You know, Shady oh, I Shen, I trust you wholeheartedly. I reach in and grab whatever. <laughs> Okay, uh, roll me a d4, please. Is this like the old this popcorn? Is. Like, oh, wait, no. Not, in the bottom not, of the popcorn. Not a d4. No. Roll me a flat check. Okay. I forgot we're in second edition and flat checks is what it is now. Uh, is I rolled an 18. Okay, so you reach into the bag and remove an apple. I inspect the apple. <laughs> Uh, it appears entirely normal, and when he sees you pull out an apple, uh, turns to the next closest person and says, Now you try. Now you try. Oh, who's next to me? Oh, I'll reach in. Yeah. Okay, roll me that flat check, please. Okay. <laughs> Four. Perfect. So you, you reach into the bag, and you feel what feels like an apple. You grab it and pull. When your hand exits the bag, instead of an apple, you are holding a live weasel that immediately starts freaking out and trying to wriggle from your grasp. Like, hey, it's my cousin, second removed. Hey, how's it going? And then I throw him down on the ground. Uh, it scurries away. I eat uh, my apple. Diving between shelves to get away from a cat. Unless you see that. I'll Just step around it. it. No matter what you put in it, sometimes when you try to take something out, weasel. <laughs> weasel? Weasel. Sometimes I don't know why. Weasel. I'm trying so hard not to do a racist accent right now. Like, I'm, I'm trying so hard. My brain keeps wanting to do it. And you're like, stop it. No. Because the I mean, character has that accent in the movie. I mean, it's a yeah. Tian Shou accent. Newspaper. It wouldn't be no. racist. It, it, it would be. It would still, that's, that's still racist. Uh, do a uh, drowned down version of Stibby. Uh, I'm, I'm just trying to stick with no accent, but still kind of weird sounding. Mm. Got it. Okay. No, yeah. not gonna lie. Sometimes weasel, though. That's sometimes crazy. weasels. Not gonna lie, that's pretty weird. Oh. I, 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 get bit. Just... <laughs> I mean, you know, free apple. Or free weasel. <laughs> Did Charlie get bit? <laughs> or is she okay? Uh, probably got lightly scratched, but if you let it go pretty quickly... Like, it did just want to get away from you. It wasn't trying to attack you. Okay. Nice. Like, huh, that's so, that's so cool. Now, what, is, what would happen if I were to turn the bag inside out? <laughs> would it be all apples or all weasels? I wouldn't advise trying. Well, now I want to try. Tell you what, you buy the bag, you do whatever you like with it. How much? Outside my store. How much? Uh, 
Dear God. Let's see for you. I do fifty gold pieces. Thirty-five gold. Oh, do you do you want my children to go hungry? No, 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 no. Forty-five. Forty. Forty-two, and you get me a new apple. Deal. Walk outside, find a tree, grab apple, put apple on table. <laughs> I, uh, I reach in and grab and try to grab an apple. A uh, natural twenty. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you're able. Apple. Yeah, you're able to get another apple okay. pretty easily. I it's... I toss it to Shady Shun. <laughs> there you go, All right. my apple. All right. Uh, yeah, and if, yeah. You hand over the gold. He hands you the bag. And for you, the player at Graves, you have purchased a cursed item known as Bag of Weasels. Fuck yeah. Yep. And the way that it works is it works like a Type 1 spacious pouch, except whenever you try to take something out of it, you have to roll a DC 11 flat check. And if you fail, the item is transformed into a weasel. Wait, permanently? Yep. Oh! No, that's great to give to somebody, though. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's a cursed item. Cursed items typically have that negative effect. Uh, it's great. Uh, casting Dispel Magic or any other type of counteract effect on the weasel will transform it back into the original item. Oh, okay. But you have to do it every time. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and like I was saying, it's great to give to somebody as a great-ass prank. And tell them yeah. nothing. Like, yeah, this is back holding. The other, the other important thing is with cursed items, if you know or have access to the magic that can break or remove curses, you will have like it'll transform into a regular spacious pouch. So you know, if you know somebody that can cast break curse. Yeah. Those if we do. Bag of weasels. Probably. Bag of weasels. Apple. Yep. Uh, remove curse is a rank four spell. Okay. So it's you should have. Apples. Yeah. So uh, so technically, Gallus can cast it, but would need to get a scroll if he doesn't know it, which I assume no. Uh, I I don't have it per, uh, in my repertoire. Yeah, well, yeah. If you get a wand or a scroll, you could cast it. Sweet. Oh, that would save. Um. Hmm. <clears throat> How many apples are in there? Out. Um, yes. 25. Don't let Charlie know. There will be five left over to <laughs> Oh, yeah, and you know, curse specifies. Uh, so, with, with cursed items, the other important thing to know is that now that you have used it, it has it will bind itself to you. Mm, perfect. Mm. You, you cannot get rid of it, except... Uh, remove curse will break its link to you, so you can get rid of it. But you uh, you can't permanently remove the curse from it unless you critically succeed your counteract. Fun, right? Absolutely. The curse of binding from Minecraft. Yeah. Except one you can remove. You cannot remove that one in Minecraft. I don't want to encourage anything subversive. Uh, this might adversely affect the economy, but uh, how much is an apple worth, and how much can you sell a weasel for? Oh, I, I see. I see you. I see you. Um, I mean, probably not enough to break the economy, 
weasels are not, you know, that valuable. Uh, and in terms of the inside out question in the spacious pouch, it specifies because this was a subject of debate in first edition. Mm -hmm. If it's turned inside out, the items inside spill out unharmed, but the bag must be put right before it can be used again. Oh, so if you turn it inside out, just apples will come out? Yep. Oh, I was hoping there'd be a chance of it being all I know, the curse only activates when you try to retrieve one item. Oh. So, okay. technically, if you only have one thing in there, you could turn it inside out to safely retrieve it. But action economy wise, that could get tricky. Good. Yeah. Are there any like weird occult or religious symbols and items and shit in here? Uh, do you want to roll your schooled in secrets? I do. Uh, okay, yeah. Yeah, you can do that. What's my ultimate? Yeah, you get to use it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah! Ooh, that's a... Ooh, yeah. Plus 12. 28. There we go. For some reason, my brain kept trying to do plus 14. I'm not really sure why. Okay. So, a couple items that you notice are a holy symbol of Grotus. Oh! Uh, the a... moon? Yeah, the, the moon with the angry face on it. Yeah, rum, rum jug Carl. A, a saber that looks like a saw blade. It's called a sawtooth saber. Ooh. Yeah! Holy shit, hold up. Wait. <laughs> Continue. And a book about demons. Ooh. Ooh. Sure, we'll look at all of these things. Kind of lingering on the saber tooth. The save the sawtooth saber. There we go. <laughs> uh, before going over to the book, because knowledge also like reading. Is it just like a normal? What does this book look like? I need description, as I accidentally dropped my phone. <laughs> so the cover is decorated to look like it is stitched together from different pieces of hide uh, with you know, markings and... But it is all just one piece that is decorated to look that way. It's not actual yeah. different pieces stitched together. And including a, a circle with an eye in it near the latch. But it is all just, like, it's, it's drawn on there. Yeah. Staring at it for a bit. Considering asking how much it is, but there's so many other items in this in this fucking store. It's like, I don't know if I want this one or not. And Surreal is spiraling again, so. Hang on. Yeah. <laughs> what? Hold up a second. He wouldn't have Archon Hearts because the Glorious Reclamation might get upset, but he has a Daemon book? Yeah. It's just a it's just a book about them. It's just information. It's and not like it's not like deadly. the excerpt from the book yeah, of the it's, day. It's not it's not like summoning rituals or anything. It's like a compendium. They don't know that. <laughs> they would have been the looked reclamation. At it. Yeah. Do you think religious nutjobs look at the books they hate? Yes. All right. The reclamation. A, yes. You're assuming that they're nut jobs. Well, I mean, most of the ones we've ran into are were a bit nut jobby. They're the bad guys, Relic right? 
Oppian was relatively stable. I say relatively, relatively. because everyone else around him was kind of insane. Yeah. However... <laughs> He was, like, uh, the most tame of that group. I mean, I don't think Kalsira was crazy. Kalsira? Wait, Kalsira was a dwarf, right? Yeah, yeah Kalsira was the one killed that killed Uktuk. She killed Uktuk. All right. It doesn't make her crazy. Crazy enough for me. Anyways. Anywho. Any doodle. What's Devlin looking at? Um, I was just kind of looking for anything to catch my eye. Uh, I'm not sure what there would be. Yeah, like like I said, there is so much stuff just crammed yeah. in here that it's kind of hard for anything to catch your eye. I think the way that would be better to go about it is if there is an item that you want, tell me that and we'll, uh, I will roll a die and see if it is, in fact, available. When he thinks nobody's paying attention, Devin, Devin will just kind of sidle up to the Daddy Shen and just, like, kind of under his breath say, you got, a, you got a bag of cats? Oh, my God. The most discerning customer, I see. <laughs> I mean, he, has, he had a bag of sometimes weasels. I'm sure he has a bag of cats. He has a bag of cats. <laughs> hey, just heard of them. They seem cool. He has a whole wall of bag of something. Probably. Hmm. I think you might be in luck, my friend. My bag of wall. He <laughs> goes back behind the counter and you hear... A lot more rummaging than should be possible, given the size of the counter. Do we hear a, a cat scree scream? Oh, for sure. <laughs> a trash can fall for some reason? Yeah, yeah, you also hear a horse whinny. Oh. Oh. There's like mm. a car screech and a horn, and then Shady Shen going, Hey, I'm walking here! <laughs> <laughs> And then after you briefly hear feet coming upstairs, he pops, oh, yeah. he pops back up from behind the counter. And we find and... out it's the guy from Police Academy making all these noises. <laughs> he's just like crouch making mouth noises. Yeah, he, he's what just character. He, he's just under the counter, just down yeah. there. <laughs> What's that guy's name? It's gonna drive me crazy. Oh, Jeff, it was a very you... niche beam or like reference, I should say. Anyway, the important thing is, uh, yeah, he sets this leather pouch trimmed in soft fur on the counter. And as as if to demonstrate it is, in fact, the item, uh, gives it a couple of soft pats, and it does produce a soft purring noise. Oh. I, uh, my hands kind of go up a little in, in shock, but also excitement. Never been this close to a real bag of cats before. Neat. Now, the um, important question is, have you the coin? Well, how does it work? What do you mean? So, like, I just kind of, like, can I, can I... Can I play with it a little? Let's I'm gonna I'm game, gonna shake it a little. It does it is it like how does it if I shake it like a cat comes out? And I'm gonna try and shake the open part and see oh, if no. I can get a cat to come out. As you do that, he grabs the end and holds it closed and he goes, Are you crazy? You can't call out that an that animal in here. It's not a house cat. Say a leopard, man. Oh, okay, yeah, I knew that. Um, but just like, all right. So say it's a real bag of cats. How much is it gonna cost me? Well, this is a very rare 
item in demand. You're lucky I had one at all. I couldn't let it go for less than 600 gold pieces. And I... We both know it isn't worth that much. Come on. Michael Winslow. His name is Michael Winslow. <laughs> hey! Thanks. That was actually bugging me. Um... 450? Come on. Oh, <laughs> You want me to lose my store, I see. I see. No, no, no. No, 575. Ah. Uh, all right. 575. This <laughs> excellent, excellent purchase, my friend. You will not regret this. <laughs> this looks behind if the this counter. This thing He's got doesn't like shake more. out a cat. I'm coming back here. Uh, as, if, if you should, no. I do not I do not give refunds. No refunds. I would, however, consider an exchange. Points at a sign, and there's, like, a grumpy-looking shady Shen that says no refunds on a sign. I am clearly frustrated, and I shake my finger in frustration, and I say, that's a reasonable policy, and I walk away. <laughs> <laughs> right, furrowed yeah. brow can mark off 575 gold pieces from your wealth uh well uh that is bad math we'll try this again so that I don't have <laughs> negative numbers ah I still have money excellent okay probably not much though I have two ninety nine. Okay, that's more than I thought. Jess, what's Charlie looking at? Um, Charlie, um, because she knows the area and she knows um, that especially when you go into places like this, you don't want to flaunt all your wealth. So she's just gonna put <laughs> down like thirty gold and be like, she's just gonna slap it on the the counter lean into him and just say drugs <laughs> drugs drugs mm, subtlety not her best what all right here's the thing this is a legitimate business and ever since the reclamation has taken over i am no longer able to deal in anything they have decided is illegal so, all of my drugs are no longer my drugs. Now, I am not allowed, as a business owner, to acknowledge the existence of a black market. But, if you were to uh, theoretically find your way there on your own, if there is one, I, d I can't say, but if there is, you should definitely ask for my friend Ginerva. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, all right. Um. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. How about um, magic items, wands, things that your friendly neighborhood witch would want to use to, you know, do stuff. So you know that that box that's three trays on a stack that you can pull and it's on a hinge Ooh, or it turns into yeah. like a weird he gets one of these out that is a good three feet in length probably about two feet deep and it has six trays and when he oh. pulls it open you can see they're just lined with wands hey kid you want to buy some wands Charlie will do the, um, the, ooh, and she's gonna, like, move her fingers, kind of like that Homer Simpson, wiggy, like, wiggy. ooh, don't mind if I diddly do, um, and just kind of rifle through. Can I tell by the look of these wands if there's anything specific or, um, 
Uh, yeah, uh, that they do. each because they are kind of piled together. They are loosely organized by rank, and then the so it's it has spells ranked one through five, and then the top the sixth row is the specialty wand. So that's your things of like wand of widening, wand of reaching. Wand of smoldering fireball, like that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Um, pause a second as I pull out um, my wish list because I wanted to wish. Perhaps one second. There it is. I just want to make sure I'm not, like, dipping in. I mean, it's it's okay if you did. A wand is a once-per-day item, so if you have two of them, that just means you have two uses of it. That's fair. That's fair. Um, hmm. This is true. This is true. This is true, true, true. Let's see. Um, you know, that widening spell... That sounds. Mm. That sounds pretty nice. Okay. Yeah. So the so uh, the widening one, yeah, it in a burst adds five feet to the diameter of the burst, or the cone. Ooh. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, yeah. It uh, increases the spell's casting time by one action, adds five feet to the radius of a burst, or five feet to the length of a cone or line. Uh, if it's 15 or smaller, if it's more, it's like Breathe Fire is a 15 foot cone, so it would make it 20, but Cone of Cold is a 30 foot cone, so it would add 10 feet to that. Does that make sense? Hmm. Okay. Uh, I'm just look. I'm just looking to see what the uh, the rank is. Uh, wand. What spell do you want? Good question. Because I think that would be a better way to go about it. So your burst, cone, and line spells. You have like, breathe fire, fireball. Sound burst. You know, or, sorry, noise blast. Is I I have to look at. Uh, Jess out of game has to look at her uh, money that she has. Granted. Yeah, so I'll okay, I'll give it to you that way. A rank one spell one hundred, a rank two spell two fifty, a rank three spell. 500. Okay. Um. And yeah, being a wand, it doesn't have to be a spell that you know, it just has to be on your list. Okay. So I was going to ask too, because I, yeah. I don't know if I would be like at my level currently, I couldn't say cast a level eight. Uh, uh, item eight uh, wand. Is that correct? Correct? Is that does that sound right? Uh, no. So, yeah, wands. You don't. You don't have to be able to do it. Like, if you had a wand of a rank eight spell, you would be able to use it because it's on your class spell list. Okay. But you are unlikely because a wand of widening with an eighth rank spell is twenty four thousand. So it'd be out of out of reach by your wealth. Okay. Um Okay. A widening I don't I so I don't have a wand of widening. So I think I'll just go I think I'm just gonna stick with a first rank spell for now. I can always no, it's kind of lame, but I 
Charlie, aka Jess, is cheap and just <laughs> she wants to conserve money, especially because um, she uh, has plans um, yeah. uh, for some of that money as well. So, um, how how about I want to know about um, your I'll, I'll I'll point to the first level wand of widening. Uh, I'll say I'll take that, and tell me about um your uh outerwear. Have I'm really trying to find it. I know it's in here. Where is it? It's the one that's... Uh, oh, remember the one you sent me, Oni? About, um... It was... Oh, the robe of uh, scrolls? It was a specific cloak. The, the robe yeah, yeah, of that scrolls? One. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the one. Um, I would... Yeah, I would say, do you have a robe of scrolls? By chance. A scroll, scroll robe? Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Of course, of course. Yes, I have that. Can't I type? I'm trying to pull it up on archives. We are okay. Um. Because then I would definitely like that. Um. And then. That's that's about it for now. I think I'm good otherwise. Okay. I have uh -oh. one more thing. Or I might just chat offline. I don't want to take up all the RP time. Yeah, so the one the one that he has, it is a scroll robe. It has already on it a plus one armor rune. Ooh. And and it has the inscribed slot filled with a scroll of slow. Ooh. <laughs> yes. Uh, and it can be yours for the low, low price of 190 GP. All right. Um, I want to use my outlaw lore. Uh, is that the f uh, fair price that uh, Shen is? Is that the price that Shen gives me? By the way, oh, no, I'm 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 saying that that is the value because an armor rune is 160, and a rank three scroll is 30. So that's the where the 190 comes from. Okay. I was I was oh, I just okay. gave you the number directly because I you know it was looking up different things and adding them together. Ah, uh, no, okay. Shen. Shen says, "Yes, it can be yours for the low, low price of two hundred and twenty gold pieces." I would love to use my outlaw lore and see if he's trying to, um, um, uh, take me for a fool. There you go. You got yeah. there. I'm proud yeah, of you. Roll it. Outlaw lore. Outlaw lore. Where is it? <clears throat> I don't know. Where is it, Jess? Uh, okay. All right. Now I. Where is your outlaw lore? <laughs> uh. Thirty-one. Eighteen plus thirteen. That's thirty-one, right? Yeah. Yeah. So. It's it's not so much that he is trying to rip you off. It's this is a haggling tactic. It's he starts with a price that is a lot more than he's willing to accept. You counter with a price that is you know a lot less than you're actually willing to pay. And you you know it's like you've seen with the other two where you kind of end up somewhere in the middle. Okay. What was the price again that Shen gave? 220 is what he offered. 
Hmm. Mm, this just looks... Looks like it's been sitting here. I don't think I'd go any higher than 175. Mm, you want me to take a loss? That's that's less than I paid for it when I took it. You know, it's, well, I'd be it's wearing definitely it. It's worth, dirty. It, it's definitely worth at least 210. No. 190. That's... Look at the uh, stain here. I have to scrub stain, it. I gotta go ink. down to the creek. That's ink. It's supposed to. It's, it's inscribed. 200, no less. My guy, it's Best red. Best offer. 200? Add a... Add a second level scroll on top of it. And we'll have a deal. He reaches into his coat. He removes two scrolls. He says, Do you want darkness or dark vision? Imprisoning me all around me, all of our shit. Dark vision, please. He hands you the scroll. And with his other hand, gestures to the robe and says, We have a deal! We have a deal, and I will, uh... So, 200 for the, uh... He gave me the scroll, and the, um, robe, and then... Yep. Uh, another 100 for the wand of widening. Yes. It's been a pleasure doing business with you, Shen. Yes, please come by any time. I have new wares every day. Do you have any bows for little girls? Brand new. Like, want the best. I mean, I have ribbon you could make a bow from, but... A brand, it's fine. A, a bow is no longer brand new once you have made it from ribbon, you know? Well, that's true. She could tie it around her head. I just I just had an image of Max with a really pretty, like, lacy ribbon tied around her <laughs> forehead like a headband. I did as oh, well, yeah, actually. She, <laughs> she would have definitely, uh, you know, like, here is how you're supposed to wear it, here's how she's wearing it. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I want the finest um, fabric, silk, if you have it. Not gonna lie, I thought you were talking like bow and arrow bow. Me too. Yeah, that was my first thought as well. A little um, girl, and I was like, so it's small and pink? <laughs> God, please, yeah, has, bedazzle it. Yeah, he has silk ribbon in lavender, <clears throat> cornflower blue, and crimson. Mm. Not the specific coloring. Ah, uh, so... Decisions, decisions. Cereal? Can you... I didn't say cereal. I kind of said cereal, but cereal. Yeah. If you were a little girl, about 10 years old, 11, you know, color. Cereal kind of walk over holding the book about Damon's and the sawtooth saber under her arm and look at them. If this is for your sister, I don't think asking me is a great idea because I don't know her that well. Me personally, I would go with Crimson, but from the stories that you told us, she probably feels more like the blue one. Okay. Alright, so... You vote Crimson. Gallus? Mm hmm? You're the deciding decision. Uh, because I do like the blue. Uh, what color do you think my um, sister would like? The cornflower blue or crimson? Mm, probably like the 12. blue one, in my opinion. Okay. 
We'll do for the we'll do the blue. Then we'll just wrap it up and uh, move to Cereal's uh, um, bounty that she found. I had to take a minute to remember what I was going to say. You caught me off guard asking Cereal <laughs> <laughs> for her opinion. So I was like, oh god, what was I going to do again? Uh, you found a cool sword in a book. Yeah, I did. Well, there's how much, how, one other How much thing. do I owe, actually? Uh, it was 300 even. With the bow? Oh, for the bow, sorry. Um, yeah, that's, uh, yeah, for just silk ribbon, it's a, a silver piece. Okay. Sounds good. <laughs> Sorry, I've been biting my tongue for like three straight minutes. <laughs> How come? Look at uh, me. Yeah. Oh, I was like, what? Did I say something wrong? <laughs> no, oh no, I. I... <laughs> <laughs> so is it in the, in the memes? Yeah. yeah. This is strange right now. <laughs> <laughs> What am I looking at? <laughs> oh, now I see it! <laughs> Fuck, I'm crying! Fuck! <laughs> it took me a second. I'm like, what am I looking at? Oh my god. Forget Netflix and chill. <laughs> I feel like that clip in like Family Guy where Quagmire is tied up and, and blindfolded and like the girls are laughing. Don't you oh, laugh at it. Don't you laugh at it. I'm trying. Oh. <laughs> it's so stupid. <laughs> Forget Netflix it's amazing. and chill. I'm here to drink Jesus. rum and blast scum. <laughs> <laughs> supposed to get back into character <laughs> i feel bad for the partner it sounds violent <laughs> i mean i would assume they're into it so I mean, that's that's a less upsetting phrasing than shoot rope oh, God, that is here. Upsetting. Oh, no yeah. you're right <laughs> it makes know. me feel it's like spider man I've seen the latest oh. episode of Adventure Party. If if you have a dropout account, you should, you should watch the latest episode of Adventure Party for the latest yeah. episode. Oh my god. Mention oh, okay. Holy um, shit. Yes! I'm... <laughs> Blast be like. <laughs> Spoilers, the episode is oh. called All Pulp No Juice. Oh god. Oh, no. I hate oh my that. god. Alright, back oh, on track. God. Back on track. Um, Holy shit! You know, uh, no. If it's a if it's a silver each, um, Charlie will just get all three. So okay. I'll, yeah, my, yeah. Minus three sh silver. Uh, silver. Uh, I'll. I'll. That's... You know what? I'm gonna go. Uh, two silver for all three. Just gonna bargain. For a yeah, little girl. Yeah, that's that's fine. <laughs> Grapes. Yeah, you, oh, you god. Been... oh god. <laughs> oh god. Oh <laughs> god. Sorry. Yes, two silver. Thank you. I'm again. Yeah, Jess, you sure you want to use say that phrase right now? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> this is phrasing. Holy shit. Oh, God. Okay. So. <laughs> All right, we're, we're focused. Walk Are we paying here's... attention? Cyril's gonna walk, walk back to the shelves. She's too overwhelmed to talk to Shady Shed right now with the thing she wants to find. But she wants to see if she can find find something that helps with uh like an engineering book or like uh Jesus, my brain is frazzled. She's looking for stuff for her brother from the last letter that she sent him about his job that he did and different ways to help him. Like, even if it's just information on different things to build. Uh, well, one one thing that Shen points oh. you to is uh, he's got this 
rolled up leather case that he unrolls and, and lays out and it is a tool set he says now these are exquisitely crafting smith's tools as you can see of uh, all cast in sterling silver how much did he say Somebody was smacking their mic. How much did he say? I'm so, I'm so sorry. I was being good. <laughs> I was like trying to mute myself and everything. I'm sorry. Okay, yeah. continue. I'm messing with you. I'm messing with you. These tools, they are so finely crafted. They assist in amateur and performing more uh, professional work. Uh, in mechanical terms, these are sterling artisan's toolkit that provide a plus one item bonus mm -hmm. on the check i i think 65 gold pieces is a fair price 50. Mm. you mm. you're so cruel Clearly, you wish for me to lose my store. No, oh, six, sixty. Fifty-eight. Very well. I suppose I, I can only eat twice today. Imagine they're just like staring at each other, squinting. <laughs> Seeing who will uh, fall first. Yeah, it's the split screen, but yeah, yeah, yeah. he uh, accepts your accepts the price. Uh, and then, so I know the glorious reclamation has been here for a while, but I'm curious. Do you have anything about or on a Braxis? Braxis. Why do you wish to know about the Braxis? I like to look up information up about everything that our enemies could be using. Wink. <laughs> Not literal wink, but that's what the sentence sounds like. Yes, I think I might have something I can help you with. Brows go way up. She's hyper fixating. <laughs> um, Nigani he ventures under the under the counter. He goes downstairs. Yeah, you hear feet going down the stairs. A door opening on a heavy, squeaky hinges. A vault opening. And then, like, animals being shooed out of the way. <laughs> yeah. A dog barking. Then he, uh, comes back up a few moments later <clears throat> with another book. That. Yes. Uh, unlike the, the one on the shelf, this one actually is made of different pieces of flesh stitched together. Ooh. Uh, what animal it came from, who can say? <laughs> but uh, on the on the spine, the title is listed as Exploring Scrivenbow. Exploring what now? Scrivenbow. Thank you. I'll, I'll put the spelling. Thank you. Uh, which is the realm of Abraxas. Yeah, it is. How much? Ten gold. Surya will put it down right away. She's not arguing with this one. She needs this. 
Okay. Seems a little surprised you didn't try, but... Uh, I did. Right. I need to put that in my notes as well. Uh, I heard you speaking with my companion, Charlie, and you said to look for a friend of yours called Janerva. Could you explain what they look like, you know, just so we ke can keep our eyes out and not possibly uh, reach out to the wrong person? Yes, of course, of course. And uh, he gives a description, but rather than yeah. tell you the description, I'm just going to add her art. Oh. Hmm. Also, oh. how do you spell? Oh, wait, you're putting the art, so her name will be in it. Okay. Uh, Ginevra. <laughs> yeah, Ginevra. Yeah. I needed there's... that for my uh, little uh, disgusting brain who automatically changed it to Ginevra and then Geneva from... Final Fantasy. <laughs> also, the conventions. Yes. I went down a whole path, and I'm like, I know that's not it, but that's yeah. where my brain is going, yeah. but I'm keeping it, it there until I'm proven otherwise. Ginevra. Ginevra. Now that I'm looking okay. at it. Brain Fitting, we can s Fitting we can see her aura. Uh, that's actually uh, because there I had to erase text. Ah. Well, do you need to be able to see her aura? Look at her eyes. Her eyes say a lot more. <laughs> yeah, she looks like the kind of person who would be selling what you're looking for. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Drugs. 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 Lots of them. Oh my god. I think that's all for me. Is everyone else ready? Did you get your sword? Uh, no. But I do want to get the book on Damon's. How much is that? Thank you for reminding me. I can look. Uh, that one. Now. That one is one gold. It's just okay. A book. Let me actually look at this. It's just five GP. I'll also get the sab the sawtooth saber. Jesus Christ, I'm never going to be able to say it right. Yeah. You can purchase that as well. Yeah. There's That's... got a, a whole arsenal going on. Yeah, I do. <laughs> you guys think she just bought it because she likes weapons? I mean, yeah. She really bought it because it is the preferred weapon of her mentor, Mr. Crease. Yes. Uh... Yes. Neat. She misses her teacher, okay? <laughs> Anyways. Right. We're gonna get this, and then I'm assuming we're gonna go to the black market. <laughs> Let's go to the black market. And spend more money. Let's go to the black market. Let's go to the black market. Let's go to the black market to buy an angel heart. Woo! And drugs. Oh, yeah. And drugs. All right, Could so... I can I listen uh, for any rumors, whispers, as we're walking yeah. to the black market? Oh, yes, you can. Let's go! Let's go! Let's roll! Let's get it. Yes, let's get it started in here. Let's not smack my other dice <laughs> in I know, the process. Right? Uh, there we go. What the fuck is 19 plus 12? 31? 31. Is it perception, by the way? I'm just checking. Uh, for listening to rumors, yeah. Uh, if you're just trying to eavesdrop, you can also diplomacy if you're trying to you know, talk information out of people. 
I want to um, yes. want to do perception just to kind of listen in. And if it's something particularly juicy, then I would like uh, try to kind of start a conversation. And I can uh, do diplomacy, and you can do perception. Okay, sounds good. Mm -hmm. uh, perception is okay. Uh, Twenty-four. Twenty-nine. Okay. So, Girlfriends uh, are working together. So, Suriel, mm -hmm. you hear, I overheard some of those so-called glorious reclamation soldiers saying one of their commanders is out in the Whisperwood looking for some kind of portal. If it's Ooh. the Inferno Gate, maybe we'll get lucky and one of the devils will get her while she's out there. Charlie, you over here. Did you know there's an angel living in the old boneyard? Set up shop there after the reclamation took the city. Says it'll take anybody's confession. But what are you supposed to be confessing? Might be an angel, but I'm sure not going to go be the one to talk to it. Say the end of my room or one, one more time. If we're... If it's the Inferno Gate, maybe we'll get lucky and one of the devils will get her while she's out there. Thank you. Now, okay. uh, going to the Black Market, if you look on the city map, F there, is actually the location of the White Market, which is to say the legal stuff one. Mm hmm. Because uh, the black market, you know, if it was just a, a name on a sign above it, it would get shut down pretty quick, wouldn't it? Yeah. So, finding the black market is going to be something of a challenge. I'm slowly raising my hand. Oh, my lord. That would be a good way to go about it, yes. You shall roll. Rolling, rolling. Did we use Golden Pause. Secrets last time? When I was looking for this, uh, the symbols of the Thieves Guild, I did, yes. Yeah. Okay. Could I also roll Golden Secrets? Um, yeah, I would say it would apply for this. But let's see how Outlaw Lore does. Yeah. Ooh. 24. Okay. So. 29. So there are stalls and little vendor carts and stuff all over the place here. And there are gaps between them that allow traffic to move in and out and grant access to alleys and such. Mm -hmm. However, some of the gaps are not quite as wide as the alley behind it should be. And not wide enough for a wagon to pass through. Mm. But you can shimmy on through this gap into a hidden stall behind the main one. And there's little nooks and hidey holes all about hidden in the main market that are the black market vendors. Mm -hmm. Surya will be perceiving to see if they're being watched or followed. Yeah, give me that perceiver. I would have nudged dice, cereal to point. This dice be doing some crazy ass shit. That's a 31. Oh, oh yeah. Excuse me. Yeah, you're pretty confident nobody is following you. Mm -hmm. A uh seem the the 
you do see reclamation troops here and there, but they seem pretty lax. Mm -hmm. As though, you know, they they think, well, we conquered the place. We don't have anything to worry about. Fucking idiots. Yeah, now, you might choose to still be a little paranoid after the whole Spyglass Archon thing. Yeah. But, you don't... Yes! You're pretty confident that you can't see anything following you. <clears throat> Rolling for <laughs> You, you rolled a 31, that's not rolling poor. No, that's what I was rolling for. Oh, yeah. oh, got ya. I was like, I thought I heard poor. Never mind. Continue. Well, we know what Charlie is here for. I mean, we were looking for the place anyway, right? Yes. Oh, yeah. I'll shimmy down the alley. Yeah, so on one such corner where these openings are, you notice there is a stall. Well, stall front door. It's like a like a tent. Mm -hmm. It's like how they set up at the Ren Fair vendors. Like mm -hmm. it's a tent, so it has walls, but it's not a permanent structure. Mm -hmm. There is a sign out front that reads Ginevra's All Purpose Apothecary. Mm -hmm. Cool, cool. And noting the gap next to it, you could go inside, see if this is the Ginevra you're looking for, or just make straight for the gap. And mm -hmm. check the black market area behind there. Mm. I mean, we I mean, can, we can do both. The front door. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Charlie uh, being smart for once and not just jumping head in. Look at her grow. <laughs> yeah, uh, standing at the corner or at the counter is a person who is the opposite of Ginevra. It's a tall, dark skinned young man. <laughs> opposite in literally every way. Yeah. How can I help you? I got this. Hello. Hi. How are you today? I am delightful, sir. I'm mm. glad you have chosen to patronize this fine establishment. Now, what can I give? What can I get for you? Well, uh, you see, we were we just stopped by Shady Shen and uh he actually recommended, uh, what was her name? Ginevra. 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 He actually recommended Ginevra on a few things, and I would like to use my double speak feet to try to convey that we, we want to do shadier business than Shady Shen has to offer. So, uh, double speak specifically applies to people who've been traveling with you? It actually doesn't. Am I thinking of something you different? You are skilled at saying one thing while meaning something different. Your disguise, your true meaning behind other words and phrases, relying on subtle emphasis and shared experience to convey meaning that, oh, only your allies understand. Damn. Yeah. I was like, I'm pretty sure yeah. that is exactly what double speak However, is. However, <laughs> because you are not lying about how you got here, uh, roll me a diplomacy. Okay. I would like to use a hero point. <laughs> good, 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 good. Yes. I got a dirty 30. Ace. Okay. We, uh, very clearly gives you a look over, you know, and a squints hard look into the eyes. He says, uh, Shade of Shen sent you them. I'm to tell you she's out back checking inventory. Oh, well, you think you could let us see her? You can go around back yourself. 
Excellent. If you're friends of Shen's, she would be most glad to speak with you. Yeah, uh, Gallus does a little bow. And he goes, thank you. Shall we? Yes. Yeah. Surreal was still looking, <laughs> making yeah. sure we're not being followed. Exit. Is there an, exit the is there tent. Anything... I'm so sorry. Is Go there ahead. anything uh, good in the apothecary, or is it your basic uh, run-of-the-mill kind of stuff? It's it's your like nothing nothing illicit is here. But yeah, if this there is were the front of the store. Yeah. So mm -hmm. if if you did want to purchase some medicines or non drug or poison alchemical items those are for sale here okay. but yeah if there's anything Ill illicit or exotic you're looking for probably not okay. you have to go to the mm. back I'll probably buy some healing potions I'll do it offline though yeah that's fine okay. so yeah so you <laughs> exit exit the tent cut through the gap between them and see that the rear of the building has a opening like where a door should be but it's just open mm. and in inside there is another tent exactly the same as out front uh, and this one has a sign on it that says Ginevra's narrower purpose apothecary. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. That's amazing. All right. The sign gets a nod of approval from Surreal. Like, yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> Ginevra's slightly specific apothecaries. Yeah. <laughs> We shall go inside and see what drugs we Charlie can find because Cyril doesn't want to buy. Them. Yeah. And as you enter here, same kind of layout. There are tables with different wares laid out in a U, like mm -hmm. cutting the tent in half and towards the door where are the things for sale. And then behind, on the other half of the tent, is Ginevra seated behind one of the tables. And then as you enter, you can see that in the far corner, there are four halflings who are armed and armored, playing cards. Halflings. halflings. Nice. <laughs> Resist urge to murder. <laughs> and you did with, this shit on purpose. And with no preamble or any any... Oh, like any, she just Delish. immediately, who sent you? <laughs> Shady Shen. Uh, Shen, Shen, yes, yes. And what exactly did he tell you I'd have? Hmm? Well, you see, we're looking for some shady business, and Shady Shen's not quite shady enough. Mm. So he recommended Ginevra. You found her. Ginevra's some narrower purpose apothecary. Trafficking in your finest poisons and narcotics and dabbling occasionally in the flesh trades. So, what's your fancy, handsome? Mm. Well, young lady. Uh, let's see. Oh. Charlie, go ahead. Drugs. Yes, yeah, drugs. Be a little more specific, dear. I want to go on a trip. She just nods her head. <laughs> want to have a little bit of Expanded consciousness, eh? Yeah, yeah I have, in, a, in a way. I have just the thing. I have just the thing. All the way from Vudra. 
she reaches under the table, takes out a small wooden box, and the lid slides off the top, and there are several tea bags inside. <laughs> she takes one out and holds it up. Says, this is something that the Vudrani call Dreamtime Tea. You brew it like any regular tea and drink it. It's got a pleasant citrusy flavor. But, well, they say it allows one to walk through their dreams and gain insight into the future. Dude, it sounds like um, Desna stuff. Mechanically speaking, what happens is you fall unconscious, and while you are unconscious, you gain the effect of augury. Mm, okay. Cool, cool. Do you feel like bartering? Yeah, that's half what I do. Okay. I have some uh, things that I haven't been using. Yeah, like all that fucking pesh we got from Simmery. <laughs> we do still have Oh, I that sold pet. that. Oh, we did? did? Oh, that's you? right, you did. Mm -hmm. You sold that, like, the yeah. next episode. It's nice. I'm pretty I, sure we... you sold it to Doika Hanahu. But it would be to Doika. I'd have to go was, back and listen, but it was somebody. All I in remember that town. is I remember like putting my satchel around my waist and yelling out as we I walked out of the police station, "Bye, Syria! I'm gonna go." Um, let me start over. "Bye, Syria! I'm gonna go deal drugs now." And I walk out the door. That's all I remember. Yeah. Good time. So, uh, what do you want to trade her? Um, I have. Um some snake oil i like i have a lot of i have some quat q q a t i have some snake oil um and um i have i don't know why i have a belt pouch i'm just i just have a whole bunch of shit that i'm like okay this That's might why. knock off like That might uh, knock off like two gold, maybe. <laughs> yeah, she. Yeah, you, you start off that list, and she goes, "Oh, honey, that's small potatoes. See this stuff, the good shit. We're talking fifteen gold pieces of of tropes. Uh." Can I roll outlaw lore? I just up above game knows it's not fifteen. Uh, can I roll outlaw to see if that I know if that is the cost? Like if I'm getting. Uh, it. Yeah, you can. Okay. Uh, that is. Uh, 20. Uh, so you know that the average market value is a little bit under that. Um, specifically, it is 13 instead of 15. Mm -hmm. uh, that markup, though, is not unreasonable considering that it's a black market deal and not a store, not proper storefront. How about this. and I'll pull out the signet ring that I pulled out of the um, tub with the uh, it was that ooze ghost mm, thing yeah the ooze ghost signet ring from the family that originally had it that is yeah. Suriel specifically told you to keep that um, for the Mur Murgatali family yep oh I'll hear I'll hear Serial go no 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 and I go oh in the in the back of your mind you hear Serial not say a word she's just looking at you 
<laughs> before uh, before we get too deep into the haggle, um, I'll I'll remind you there was another item that Shady Shen told you you'd have to go to the black market for. That's probably more important oh. than drugs. Yeah, the heart or whatever flesh pieces we're looking for. Well, I was gonna I was gonna let Charlie buy drugs before we get to the important stuff. Yeah. Yeah, let okay. Charlie get her drugs. Yeah. Um, so I have so I'll give I'll put down the two doses of quat. I have two doses of grit that I've never used. And um Uh, and a snake oil. I don't know how much the snake oil is, but put all of that down. Let's see. Market value. And uh, this is not the number that she's going to offer. It's just the market value because, you know, selling, you're typically doing it at a disadvantage. Uh, but grit is three gold and quat is four silver. So you're at two grit, so eight. Six. Yeah, 6.8. Uh, snake oil is 2 GP, so 8.8. .8. So you're half, halfway to 1 for the Dreamtime tea. Mm. Okay. Um, I have well, the glasses of social ability. It's 60 GP, actually. Now, now we're talking. Let's do that. So yeah, if you if you show her those, she uh, you know, takes it, looks at them um, very closely. You know, gets out the little monocle that jewelers use. And this, now this, this will get you something. I could, I'd trade you three tea bags for this. All the all the the drugs that you offer and the glasses, I'd give you four. And that's generous, considering grit and quad uh, the cheap stuff compared to my rare imports. Um. I'm just doing math. <laughs> so the the glasses and the drugs have a market value of 68.8 gp and she is offering you 52 or... gp worth of drugs in exchange for them yep that's what I was getting to. I was like, okay, so we're doing how many, how many tea bags? Da, 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 da. Um, I'll, how about four tea bags and a fun little poison? Poison? She gestures the whole table on the left side what you got shuffles over shuffles over you guys should see cereal slide over to the poison <laughs> you don't hear her oh no i thought her, like, her like i if she it, like um i have that wolf spider venom uh hunt, is it hunting spider you're right That's that is yeah, uh, hunting spider venom No, you gave that to me, because I have two, because I bought my own afterwards. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, then never mind. Um, yeah, because that's then the free one you, that's, that's the free one you got from Linton when we first met. Gave you that. Okay. Yeah. Shoot. Because you I were like, you it. like poisoned? Here you go. And I was like, oh. Hoarding. Cool. Okay. Um... Let's let's do, um, or uh, so for the glasses. So I'll go for the glasses. 
and the drugs I want, three tea bags, and a fun poison uh, that I could uh, put uh, on a dagger or something. How does that sound? Let me see. For a given poison, you want specifically a dagger, so we're looking for injury poisons. Goes, how about this? How about I give you something you can skip the dagger? And gets a small cloth pouch that is labeled mustard powder. Mm. Oh, it's mustard gas. Essentially, yeah. There, Yeah, there's mustard powder. Oh, yeah. Have yourself a deal, Ginevra. All righty. So you exchange your quat, your grit, and the glasses of sociability, three doses of Dreamtime tea, and one dose of mustard powder. <laughs> cool. Yes. All right. Now, I might have some requests. Now, you said you deal in the trade of flesh. Do they... Are they only those that are alive or of this plane? You got something specific you're after. I can I have, smell it. I have a few spe specifics in mind, yes. You like... What is it? You like... Dips into Devlin's pocket to pull out the shopping list. <laughs> and he goes, uh, perhaps a Gethian heart, an angel heart, an archon heart, and a Zada heart, or unicorn horns. Mm. Yeah, and some hardcore shit. Hmm, yes. I like it, I like it. I love drug grandma. Yeah. Uh, and she turns to where the halflings are playing and says, Gordon, go into the storeroom and fetch my lockbox. Hops up and patters out on his big halfling feet. Comes out a little bit later with a lead, not lead, sorry, a metal lockbox about the size of a shoebox and hands it to her and even as she's setting it on the table you can hear a faint boom 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 and she opens the box towards you and you see in the velvet lined interior is the still beating heart That is, while, you know, the color you expect a human heart to be, however, with each pump, liquid silver seems to come out where the ventricles were severed. Like, Gallus raises an eyebrow. What? Ariel kind of leans over, like... <laughs> What kind of kind of heart is that? Like? I whispered to Gans. It used to belong to an Agathian. Hmm. How much? And this is an exceptionally rare and difficult thing to acquire. You see. I'll give it, I'd give it to you for a thousand. <laughs> Technically we can do that if we all pull together, but. You know, I mean, she also clearly established to accept 
barter. Yeah. So. Hold on. You have magic items that you were meaning to part with anyway. I sigh heavily and I hand Gallus 250 gold coins. Oh, no! Dad, no! No, he only has 49 GP left. <laughs> Take 20 yeah. back, make it 69. You fool. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Missed opportunity. Missed opportunity. Not nice. Not nice. Not nice at all. Does Gallus have anything he wants to uh, part with? No, he needs everything he has. I assumed. So does Surreal. No. So, a, a thousand? A, a thousand I know, even. I know it's a bit of a steep ask. You might need some time to put the money together. So I'll offer you this deal. Leave a deposit. Two hundred come back when you have the rest and I'll hold it for you for a month. Surya will hand Gallus 250. Oh. Oh, well. He takes the 500 that he was given, he takes out 500 that he has and he just puts it on the counter. Thousand gold. Takes it, uh, weighs a couple of the coins on a scale, bites one, mm. then uh, sweeps them into a different lockbox, slides the open one with the heart in it towards you. It says, Pleasure doing business with you. Pleasure is all mine. And remember, you were never here, and we never met. Yeah, I seem to have forgotten what I've done with my day. Good. Hmm. Though, one more question. Do you know where we could find some unicorns? Well, I know that they're rumored to be in the Whisperwood. Their horns are actually quite in demand. Now... You seem like the adventuring sorts. Oh, am you, I that obvious? If you were to find yourself out there and in possession, well, I see your list says you need four, but if you find more of them, I'll buy them off you. My brows go way up. I think we'll keep that in mind if we come across a surplus. Is there anything else that you would want from a unicorn or just the horns? The horns are what's in demand. It's where their magic resides. Mm -hmm. Cut that just off. Checking. All you've got left is horse meat. I didn't know if there was like blood or, you know, a heart or something else that you wanted. Just checking. No, unicorn blood does not give you extended life. It's a myth. <laughs> Just because it's in a, fa a fairy tale novel d does it mean that it's fake? No, it's, it's fake. It's just the stretched truth, basically, which is practically fake at that point. I would skibbity lie in a fairy tale novel. Fucking say skibbity lie. Oh my god, no! Charlie's a jet alpha! <laughs> I couldn't think of anything. I'm like skibbity sounds like a like a <laughs> like instead of like saying Grimm, Grimm's fairy tales, that's, like that's skibbity some fairy skibbity tales. Skibbity shit right there. <laughs> yes, yeah, skibbity shit indeed. In dungeon for one hundred years. Surreal's just looking at this two, at these two, like, what the 
fuck are they saying? <clears throat> But I'm, I'm hip with the kids, with the youth. Hold on. <laughs> I'm still laughing at Skibbity. <laughs> Fucking Jess. <laughs> Sorry. God damn it. Um, I'm looking up one more poison real quick. I'm giving time for James to eat some popcorn. <laughs> uh, I the Devlin has just been sitting here, possibly never hating Gallus more than he ever has. Hearing him say uh, that he connects with the children, with the youth. <laughs> yes, <laughs> the youth. It's terrible. I'm hip with the youth. The youth. Gallus is sitting backwards in a chair with a backwards hat on. Yeah, Gallus would do that. <laughs> He looks Let's at Devlin. Rap. What? What? They have no, excellent the body chill- parts. <laughs> no, it's the children who are wrong. Uh, I'm just the youth are the worst. The youth. He says as a dad. Yes. <laughs> he knows. He doesn't understand him, or understand no. them. You're trying to reach out like some sort of cool uncle, and it's did it no, baffles. No, a me. cool auntie. Oh. That yeah, does explain right. the mimosas. Gallus is a wine aunt. Gallus is a wine aunt. <laughs> Please remember. Forgot. Uh, Syria will has been looking at the poisons, uh, and is just like, do you have? Uh, Kira, Scarlet Mist, Forgetful Ink, Clown Monarch. Kirare and Scarlet Mist, yes. The others, no. I already forgot how much they cost. Still have the poisons page open, so hold on a second. Yeah. Poison. Uh, it's only 180, which is pretty good. Poison. Injury. They're both injuries. Good. I had to yep. double check. Oh, he wasn't here for that girl is poison. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're right. Oh, damn it. We're going to have to tell Devlin about that. So, yeah, Curare is 100. Yeah, which... and Scarlet Mist is 80. Yeah. You know any good places I could find the other two? Not really. You'd have to just ask around. Fine. I'll just take the Cure IRA and the Scarlet Mist for now. Lovely. She's growing her collection. Yep. Before we you guys leave. don't even you guys don't even understand the amount of poisons we're gonna have that one moment we do actually get to be able to poison somebody like poison someone's drink and Serial's gonna be like do you guys want this one or this one or this one <laughs> got this one ooh this one this one's pretty good <laughs> uh, before we leave I'll just lean into. Uh, the counter and just kind of get closer to Ginevra and I go have you heard um, about the judge recently yep I'm talking as though I should know who that is mm. got it uh, I remember remember the the judge isn't his actual name that's just what charlie has been calling him <laughs> no like that's uh f- hold on james i'd, I'd have to look a, back james did give us a name a long time ago uh, well no james said that the guy likes to be called the judge yeah Correct. but he still gave us like a name that he does he likes to be called the judge but james did give us his actual yeah, name so if 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 
Nevra would have known the judge, she would know that he would go by the judge. Oh yeah, my my point there was more just like if you don't already know that you're using it to refer to that one specific person, that's any judge. Yeah. You could mean any judge. Right. Yeah. Tell me, is um, there really an angel in the graveyard? That's the rumor, but it's maybe not going to find me going out there to find out. Well, back in the day, I used to frequent the graveyard here and there. Speaking of which, do you have any other items that the reclamation may not like that you have? Now, poisons and drugs are my specialties. You're gonna have to go exploring to find anything else well, that vague. What were you even looking for with that question, Gallus? <laughs> oh, you know, anything that grabs my attention. That's a god question, not an NPC question. Oh my god. It's the same I'm, thing. I'm gonna regret <laughs> recommending this, but uh, maybe she knows a reputable butcher? Oh, no, that's what I'd go for the graveyard for. I'm talking about items, specifically. No. Oh, thank God. Devlin, you do have a good idea. Do you know any other adventurers around here that might have had run-ins with, you know, magical creatures that we're looking for? Hmm. They drift through from time to time. Coming or going from the Whisperwood, but... You're the first such party I've seen since the city was taken. Mm. Yes, I've noticed it looked a bit more boring since last I was here. A little drab. And also, uh, not entirely whole. Some buildings are half missing. Well, the city was under siege for nearly a month. A nearly a I'd be month? I'd shocked if there wasn't. Good lord. Not that long for a siege. They are typically lengthy affairs. Oh, I mean... You had warfare, or you know that, stupid. Well, I'm not. I'm just a <laughs> necromancer, okay? <laughs> I have necromancy lore. Is that fourth wall? Yes, Charlie, that's the not fourth anymore. wall I've been telling you about. Yeah, it's the broken tent's now. Broken. The, the tent has four walls, but one of them has a big door in it. Yes, and we can go right just, through it very easily. I just want to imagine she has no clue that she just broke the fourth wall. <laughs> she's high out I, of her uh, mind. I think she's telling us to leave. Did she just say, I there's the door? Her eyes. <laughs> oh, no, there was, was a fourth wall. Uh, but there is a no. door you can see You can see through one of the walls. I, I, it wasn't a very well-constructed joke. Oh, I, I still like it. I liked it. Now, Devlin, is there any sort of illegal stuff you want to get? Uh. Yeah. What illegals do you? Like? What would I roll to know what a good drug is as an old man? Uh. Either medicine <laughs> or. craft, maybe? With 21, what is the name of Annie's common street drug? Flayleaf. 21. Yeah, Flayleaf would probably be the most common. But uh, I I'll guess it say depends on what one uh, kind of effects please. you're looking for. Uh, Annie's common street drug. And she fetches off of the middle table... Uh, <laughs> a pre-roll for you. Hey! I would just love it if you like, well, what strand would you like? I've got strawberry kush, <laughs> pineapple express. Right. I've, got, I've, got I've got this new... The 13th. I've got this... Grape. I have this new crop of strawberry diesel that's pretty dope. 
There's also front loops. I'm not really sure what that <laughs> is. Pretty dope. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Shit's I'll fire. Take that one. Um, I I love to. Can I smoke it here? Outside the tent, I'd prefer. Sure. Oh yes, of, of course. It's really, uh, money. Really... I yeah. offer um, uh, a gold in my hand. Yeah. Palm yeah. up. Really, really, really harsh is the buzz on my shiver with it. There's a bunch of smoke in here. <laughs> Shit, so purple. It's asking me, where's Ronald? <laughs> Oh my god, <laughs> shut the Good god. fuck up! <laughs> anyway, new yeah. NPC. Drug grandma. Drug grandma. Push OG. <laughs> yeah! I, f I feel like she'd get along with Doikus. Oh my god. Probably, yeah. And Danny DeVito. Fuck. Uh, oh, yeah, Dr. Mantis Toboggan. Yes, Dr. Oh, Mantis man. Toboggan. <laughs> yeah. I just know him uh, as Danny DeVito now. He has no actual name anymore. Yeah, it's Mantis Toboggan. Is she good with the gold? Should I put yeah. more? Okay. Yeah, yeah, she takes it and hands you the joint. I will put it in my pocket. To teach Devlin how to do the drug and steal. Uh, Devlin is just that community episode where people, where they're doing the horror stories and Britta pours just loose weed all over her chest. Jeff's like, now that is my kind of pot bong. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yep. He's great at going undercover. Trust Devlin every time. Good oh. lord, Devlin, you're such a square. Sounds like a dad. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> He's like, I look nothing like a square. All right. So, we've progressed the plot. Who's excited for that? Yay, we Me. have a still beating heart in, in my backpack. Yeah, Yay. now you just need... Now you just make sure you scratch off that you have an Agathion heart. Yep. Did, did you put it in the bag of weasels? No, I was debating oh. on it, but no. That goes into Surreal's bag of holding, probably. No, it's in Gallus's backpack. Hmm. I He's... didn't know that Gallus had... No. Because, just a regular because backpack. Because Gallus spent the most money on it. <laughs> That's true. Gallus just covered Charlie's portion. That's true, yeah. Charlie, you owe me money. Also, I thought Gallus would also have a bag of holding, you know? No. Loser. Maybe I owe you money. Well, you didn't fork up any gold. The fuck? Yeah, what? both both it's... Devlin and I put down 250 to help get the Agathy on her, and you did nothing. I was busy sniffing and inspecting my goods oh, i i will remember this charlie wait 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 fucking 250 gold damn it thank you surreal's literally just messing with charlie gallus is for real gallus is for real you <laughs> hold her back and then she doesn't have to fork over that I'm gonna give you 200 gold. Give me 200? Because you insulted me. Gal Gallus just like looks at her and is like, Charlie. No. Charlie? I have to. I need to have tuition money for Max. Charlie, I will get this Being money. Like I will get my, the cut one way or another. Charlie, you're acting like we aren't about to go kill a bunch of things and have a bunch of other items to sell later. Right. 250. Remember what I said? The youth make great body parts. Your kidney looks very sturdy. How do you think Gallus still looks so young? Hmm. He's got two of them in there, too. 
Indeed. <laughs> Jesus, Grandma, we're outside. What? You no, only I'm need one of those. Right. Three seventy-five left. Okay. Jesus Christ. Thank you, Charlie. You're a dear. All righty. So, now that we've had some fun and progressed the plot, what is the next stop? What are we doing? What are we doing? I didn't really think this far in the day. Well, you we then... could go out to visit Jagaji. Do we want to Did fight do... the psychopomp? I kind of don't You're the yeah. dead guy expert. What's the best way to fight it? He's not. He's not. You're. A dead. You're the Jigaji one who passed is... the the lore check on the psychopomp. Oh yeah, you are the one who passed the lore check on it. So you would know. Well, the, the black way to... market didn't have a net, so I am open to suggestion. A net. Well, you did not uh, get to ask your question. When you did pass the check, so uh, you could do that mm. now if you wanted. Uh, uh, some sample questions are, what resistances or weaknesses do they have? What are their special abilities? What's their weakest save? What are their senses? Like that kind of stuff. What is its weakest save? A reflex. Oh. That makes sense, Ooh. given the giant snail shell on its back. You know, we yeah. gotta hit it fast and hard. Keep it off balance. Don't let it do whatever weird powers it has, and then it won't be an issue. Hmm. Makes sense. They have the big Surreal. shells on their back. Would make them pretty clumsy, Surreal wouldn't it? Is like, that's all I do. <laughs> well, good news, Charlie. You could fireball it to death. <laughs> Let loose. Hold nothing back. I still have well, one more well, uh, pearl of, of, of. Oh, fire yeah, bomb. a fireball. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Surreal corrects herself. Okay, actually, wait, no. Hold back enough that we can still look at its items and, you know, get what we need from it. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, what, what you need specifically is its staff. Yeah. Uh, I right. mean that angel in the in in the graveyard. We could. Uh, which way do we know which way is the hunting lodge? It's north out of town. North out of town. So if you follow the road past location oh, G. Thank you. This way. I almost forgot it's hanging out there, isn't it? Yeah. I was like yeah. hunting lodge. What is that? Oh, and then the old bone yard <laughs> is down here at C. Yeah, and where are we? F. Okay, so we yeah, can actually like do a wrap around. Yeah, you're pretty to close a, to, to the bone yard. So now that I'm thinking about it, we can hit the bone yard first, see what's going on there. You know, check out to see if there's actually an angel, and then come down and around and across this bridge here to make our way up north. <clears throat> to that old lodge. Unless I, you guys just want to go straight to the lodge first. Hey, James. Yeah? Could I roll either Society or Lord Necromancy to see if I have any connections to the Gravekeeper here? If it's still oh. the one from when I frequented here a while ago? Uh, roll me a Society. Society! Society! Ooh, 16. Unfortunate. Uh, that is enough to know. It's called the Old Boneyard because it is no longer in use. Mm. Well, that doesn't mean there's n no dead bodies in there. Right, but there is no, like, groundskeeper. Oh, uh, well. Uh, ooh, I had a question. W would, uh, would that 16 let me know who Shit. used to be the groundskeeper of the Old Boneyard? His name is Willie. 
Uh, with that, I'm gonna say you don't remember. Mm. Now, who was the gravekeeper of the old boneyard? I want to say Willie. That doesn't seem right, though. <laughs> um, hey, that's what? what I remember. Oh my god. Uh, James, the yeah. reasons question. My question. It's coming in in spurts of words because it's weird, but like, what are the the implications? Isn't the word I'm looking for? I guess the reasons why an angel would set up, possibly in an old boneyard. It's a it's a choice of a place. That and is like, a, that is a choice. Um, well, so the rumor that you heard regarding the angel was that it is, it offers to take confession from people. So it's not that hard of a logical leap to figure maybe it shows that because it is a secluded location. Okay. See, the thing with that, if there is an angel there, we'd have to figure out if it's worth, you know, trying to kill and steal its heart because it only, that would only, we could really only do that if it's, here, here, and not, like, summoned here. Does that make sense? Also, it's still in the middle of the city. So. I mean, the old boneyard is pretty secluded. Pretty loud when we fight, though. Hmm. And we just got here. Well, I mean, we of course we would go in the dead of night. Again, are we down for going to look, get information first, fight Jigaji or whatever the fuck his name was, and then come back later with a different plan? Sure. Kind of points at everyone else. I could. Seems like both locations, the plan is scope out the area and then jump a guy. So we can do that in whichever order we want. Accurate. Accurate description. <laughs> Technically not wrong. Also, since we're going, we talked about going to the old boneyard first. Spooky, scary skeletons started playing on my playlist. Spooky, that's probably a sign. Alright. Guys, I think hearing, that's a sign. I'm just hearing, well, we're, werewolf bar mitzvah, spooky, scary. <laughs> Which is also true. Uh, Where Jess, are you Bar Mitzvah, reading? spooky, scary. Boys becoming men. Men becoming wolves. <laughs> <laughs> what were you saying, sir? Um, Oni? Old Boneyard. I, I... Old Boneyard, check out Angel, see if true. Then go uh, stalk Jigaji, see if worth fighting. I like that idea. Okay. Or just take his staff and run for it. Well, We're he also has that thing him. that I want. Probably. Be, I'm going to be honest. What you explained and what has been explained to us, he probably has the ability to just, like, summon it back into its hand, so. What if you held on to it really tight? You know, you might be taken with it, which still ruins the purpose. Hmm. Yeah, we should all right. just... If you stabbed it enough, it stopped moving, then you wouldn't have pr trouble at all. Yeah, so, are we going to the old boneyard, or to Jigaji's yes. cabin? Old boneyard first, and then Jigaji's cabin. Alright. Okay, do-kay. Then. Hey, hey, not right now. Stop it. Oh, <laughs> All right, there's a dog head in my armpit. Uh, give him pets. Hello, Frava. Well, he's nudging my mouse hand while I'm trying to move us <laughs> to the map. <laughs> they know! <laughs> All right, uh, you should be looking at a black screen right now. Yes. Yes, yes. Uh, that is normal and expected. Just let me add some tokens so you can begin seeing. Ooh. Check out that vision. Oh. 
Oh. Blood. On our way there, and... could could I gather some info on why it's no longer being used? Um, mostly just that they decided to start cremating their dead. Mm. Surely they haven't caught on. <laughs> uh, but anyway, I worked for I worked for the crematorium. Uh, you reach the old boneyard, and out in the open, plain as day. Is this fella? Oh, those pillars were blocking the view. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, that. Whoa. Oh yeah, we're not talking to the old lady anymore. Yeah, no, we're not. It's we're that. talking. Oh, to... oh, damn. Yeah. What was it again that we we heard that the angel uh, listens the angel to like confessions? Taking, yeah, confessions in the old bone yard. Okay. Oh fuck! Do we know what kind of angel? Like, it, is it a general angel or is it an angel of a uh, specific? I mean, we're looking uh, at him. Uh, we're you're gonna have him. to roll a religion. Okay. Religion. Religion. Religion roll is okay. What the fuck is my religion? <laughs> zooming in a little terrible. Uh, a little bigger. Oh, Papa, that's what we're. Uh, wow, religion. Oh, Devlin has wow. rolled a natural oh. twenty again. Me oh hell too, yeah, Devlin, let's go. That's I oh, got a twenty-seven. None of the rest of you read the mission briefing. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I got a natural twenty. Thirteen. Okay. I don't know nothing about For angels. A... Yep. Charlie, what did you get? A 27. Okay. So, all three of you recognize that this is a Balisse angel, or a confessor angel. Yeah. Okay. Who Conf help confessor. unburden the guilty of their sins by admitting them. <laughs> Gallus just looks at well, I'll be damned again. <laughs> yeah. Ah, I see what you did there. You know, this is the one time I was expecting a rumor to not be true. Yeah, there really is an angel over there. That is, yeah. I have no idea what kind, though. What is that? It's a confessor. A confessor? Confessor angel is taking confessions. Yeah. Huh. And, uh, yeah. same... <laughs> Same as with the Shoki, uh, you can ask questions. The critical success, too, can ask a follow-up question or a second question. Imagine Devlin and Surreal are sitting there, like, staring at each other, like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know what that is. I've seen that before. <laughs> Charlie, do you Surreal and Devlin uh, don't really say words. They just look prepared. at each other. <laughs> a nuclear hey, bomb, you said? You know, the thing you did with the other thing, the Archon. Oh, just, that? Just, yeah. Oh. Hold on, let me double check that I had it prepared. Hold on. What were you gonna say, Liam? Uh, I was gonna ask, what, uh, what makes this Confessor Angel special? Like, what is its special ability? So, they have the, an aura that acts as a zone of truth. Oh. Um, but like the making it hard to lie is a side effect. The primary function of it is that if somebody wants to honestly confess but has difficulty putting words to what they are feeling, it helps them find the words. Interesting. Okay. That is an interesting implement of that ability, or that spell. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, we talked to Mom about this. Is that from after the change, James? From after the change. Is that the updated uh, Zone of Truth? Uh, there, 
is not one. Okay. I mean, the spell is updated, but the angel's ability isn't. Uh, it's called Ring of Truth in the new, in the remaster. Sorry, the spell, uh, what, is that the, wow. Yeah, the spell, yeah, in, in the remaster, the spell is called Ring of Truth. least it's a uh, true and I mean this could be last resort if we can't find one out in the whisper wood that's legitimately here where else are we gonna find one I I don't I don't in particularly the think wood? <laughs> no I don't think there's gonna be a lot of angels in the whisper wood is what I'm trying to say uh, uh, Devlin gets a second question don't forget Yo, yeah. uh, they fly now? Yes, it has a fly speed. They fly uh, now. And it is very fast. Mm -hmm. It's a 40 foot fly speed. Well, whatever we do, we gotta do it quick or it'll get away. Does, now, Serial uh, rolled high enough to get a question too, right? Or Surreal yeah, also I, I, rolled also a critical success, questions. so you get two questions. Oh, damn. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think. I got a, I got a nozzle 24 30. Oh, fuck um, yeah. Yeah, and how resistances, about... weaknesses, special abilities. Hmm. How about Charlie? Does Charlie roll? Me Charlie gets save. one. Okay. Also reflex. Okay, okay. okay. Go ahead, Jess, if you have one. Um... So, we asked about fly speed, we asked about... Special ability. Uh, special abilities. How about its weaknesses? Uh, evil. It has weakness 10 to, uh, well, evil is gone. Uh, unholy. <laughs> weakness 10 unholy. So, Jess, Holy do water? you have... Unholy water would work, yes. Um, Jess, did you have... Your darkness you blast chilling, ready? Chilling darkness Chilling prepared. darkness! There we go. Yes, actually. Oh. I, I, I switched around my um, spell list. Because I'm like, mm, I still have some fireball, and I got my fire staff, yada yada. So I'm like, let's switch up my rank 3 spells, so I put Chilling Darkness. I only have one, though. I mean, one might do it, TBH. He has weakness 10. I have one. That is, if we want to fight him right now, is the question. We, well, no, we don't want to, because it's the middle of the day, and we said we'd come back at night. Now I got a we can... I got a question for James. James, did I roll low enough to get a misinformation? <laughs> what was your What was your total? I was uh, thirteen. Oh, you did. Yeah. That is an excellent question. <laughs> uh, so they have the ability to cast fireball. Oh. <laughs> well, I mean, judging by how fiery it looks, it probably casts fireballs, so we should probably be careful with that. I imagine everyone looks at Dallas like, what? No. What do you mean, no? I mean, he's not wrong. He's holding a flaming weapon and has wings made of fire. <laughs> I didn't ask what spells he could cast. <laughs> Not yet. I haven't asked my second question yet. <laughs> Devlin knows what he must do, but he's waiting for the question. Well, while Oni is thinking of a question, uh, is it? Can it see us? We're just kind of standing there. Right. We just gonna walk up. Yeah. So the. Way. Recall knowledge happens, you know, more or less instantaneously. Right. But as you approach the gate, he turns, 
and the hand that's not holding the mace, he holds, you know, that, like, palm up, open hand, arm mm -hmm. out, like, mm -hmm. come, children, unburden yourselves. You're coming on to me. Everyone, <laughs> everyone hears Surreal uh, gag. Barry. I, um, I oh, go ahead, go ahead. The crumpled joint out from my pocket, and I start to to light it. Oh my god! Uh, oh, resistances, yeah. James. Uh, fire. Believe it or not. Thought so. Fifteen. Okay. Yeah, I'm not gonna use Obsidian Edge when we fight him. Yeah. Uh, okay. when, you, when you light up, he kind of drifts closer. It says, "This is a non-smoking area." <laughs> Wait, hang on. This is a um, fire, free zone. Though. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, go ahead. I do not produce smoke. Are you sure? Because you're quite smoking. Mm. Are no, you is... coming on to us? Yes. Yes, I am. You are quite the tall drink of water. Appreciated, but uninterested. Damn. Okay. Noted. <laughs> will save for later to say to myself in the mirror for my daily affirmations. <laughs> um, so, being a, confess a confessor angel, um, did we... Could, I, I don't know if I caught it. Do, do we know what a god he um, Follows. serves? Yeah. Uh, that is kind of harder to tell. Because... They're like angels serve a range of deities, and each each deity has like one specific outsider type that is theirs. But this is not one of them, so it could be any good deity. I, uh, I I'm just curious because I, I could I go and ask. Or... Yeah, you yeah. can ask him. He's not attacking us. Yeah. Can I go in? Yeah, you can enter yeah, the graveyard. There's nothing stopping you. Okay. I, I, I'll just be like, I'm just gonna talk to him. I just wanna just get some ideas, and I'm I'll, and I'm just gonna go in to by him. myself. Okay, I just wanna talk to him a little bit, so you're not running into his space. But yeah. I just I'll just kind of. I'm just gonna just uh, stand in front of him. I don't have anything in my hands, obviously. Um, and I'll just go... You're, you're an angel, um, who do you serve? I have the great honor of serving the Dawnflower. Yeah, that makes sense. S Saren Ray? Yes, the great Redeemer, and at her behest, I allow the wicked to unburden themselves and start life anew. Oh no. What guilt oh, do no. you carry, child? I hope he's ready for a long story. Uh, <laughs> I just want to read one thing really quick. I just I just want to look up the uh, Saren Ray really quick. Okay, so, uh, Saren Ray's big thing is redemption. Mm -hmm. uh, she she believes that the correct way to deal with an evil deed isn't to enact retribution against the guilty party. It is to convince them that they have done wrong and for them to try and correct things on their own. Um, but the, those that are dedicated to evil and refuse to change their ways. She is as brutal and merciless in burning their life down as the sun itself. Sweats. That's what I was looking Sweats yeah. profusely. <laughs> um. And Gallus and Surreal are suddenly like, is it out of here or is it just me? <laughs> no, it's just um. me. And so as you... In in enter, that's the word. This angel's aura. Um the angel's name is Oromos. 
Uh, I need you to roll a will save against uh, uh, Ring of Truth. Interesting. Okay. I'll go get her. No, no, no. No, I no, see what no. Happens. Let, let Charlie, let Charlie cook. <laughs> no, no, we're ta we're just talking in the background. Yeah, we're talking yeah. in the back while you're rolling. <laughs> Uh, 17. Ooh. Okay, so you have failed mm. the save. Okay. So, you cannot speak a deliberate or intentional lie, and you take a minus two status penalty to any deception checks while you're within this aura. You can choose to just not speak at all. Yes, you can. Uh, but anything right. that you say cannot be intentionally a lie. Gotcha. Uh, anything I, I say can and will be used against you. Will be me. used against you, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Got it. Um, I... I don't know if I believe in odds. That was my cup. I'm sorry. It fell. They are quite real. A servitor of the gods stands before you, child. The question you should be asking is whether the gods believe in you. Like a walking, talking, inspirational poster. How could... How could they forsake me time and time again when I needed them the most? The way that gods interact with the world is as bound by laws as I am. They cannot directly intervene except in the grandest crises. Surreal thinks to herself, wow, that's a real great cop out answer you got there, man. <laughs> It is also, like, literally factually true. Yeah. It is, it is, Suriel knows that. Any, anytime a god directly interacts with the world, it provokes an equal but opposite reaction from a opposing god. Yeah. So they all have kind of agreed to mostly keep their hands out of it. Wouldn't they have heard my cries? It's not reason enough. When I was starving. And my sister was starving. My parents up and left. Wouldn't they hear that? They hear, and their heart breaks that they are not allowed to intervene. But for your hardships, for your struggles, see here, you are alive, you are well. This is a blessing. Who says I'm well? I... you... Do not display any signs of illness or injury. You see the inside? Illness and injury? Sadly, I that? cannot. The wounds inside the mind are the most difficult to heal.
Yeah, you're right on that one. And she's going to kind of shift um, onto a different, like, lean, put her weight on a different leg as she kind of pops her hip out. Just kind of uh, um, ties her hands around her uh, waist and just... So how come you're here in this graveyard? Why Sinara? Why here? Oh, Sinara's the town no. we live in. No, sorry, I'm sorry, sorry, yeah. sorry. I misunderstood. Yeah, why Sinara? Why, like, why this yeah. The yeah, town? Yeah. Yep. There are many in this settlement bound in chains of their own making. The Dawnflower dispatched me here that they may have the opportunity to free themselves. Surreal I mean, can you at least of... get a drink? Are you just sitting here? Angel I am. I do not require food or drink or rest. Eternal is my mission. Endless is my watch. You two dropping eaves, get back over here. Don't be rude kind of been taking a step forward a little bit. And you... Oh! Uh, so... Surreal and Devlin will both need to make saves. Turn around and go, can't I get a little privacy? 31. Uh, Surreal, you have succeeded. So you are able to lie, should you so desire, uh, but you take a minus two penalty to yeah. deception checks. Uh, Devlin, you have failed. Oh no! Yeah, not critical. So you also failed. cannot deliberately lie. He's high as fuck and under the effects. <laughs> Actually, I oh. apologize, and I will back up. <laughs> You'd get that plus one because is it a mental effect? The zone, a uh, ring of truth. No. Oh, okay. No, oh, yeah, it is actually. Oh, you get a plus one because you're high. <laughs> yeah. All it's right. Still fails, though. So Saren Ray oh. has you posted up because of all the hell spawn that are here. Being born a hell spawn is not a mark of guilt. In fact, many who treat them as such are those who carry guilt. Ooh, very progressive. Like your friend there, she did not choose to be born the way she was, only to act the points. way she does. Saria looks around and points at herself like, oh yeah, I am the only Hellspawn tiefling. <laughs> Uh, Charlie. Nope, not Charlie. Jess, if you want to do a sense motive on Surreal. Oh. Yeah, because I'm wondering why y'all are sneaking up on me. Surreal wasn't being sneaky about it. Jealous is just... oh, trying to you get everyone. Up. He's trying to get everyone to let you have your privacy. I'm not going to lie. Don't... I can't. I was just trying to lean on that pillar. It looked comfy. <laughs> That is a 23. Yep, that beats my DC. Uh, Surreal looks a little bit worried about you right now. I turn around and I'm just asking questions. Raise of the Curious. eyebrow. Just yeah. asking questions. Uh, again, again to Surreal, Oromo says. Tell me, child, do you bear guilt in your soul? Puff at him and step back. 
kind of leaning on the pillar back here. She says nothing. What happens if I do repent? Then it will be marked as a desire to live a better, more just life when you stand before the Lady of Graves. So nothing right now. Hopefully not. It would only matter now if you were to die straight away. Instead, yeah. think of this as the first step on a long journey to a more righteous life. Mm. Yeah, well, I'm more about the now. I waited oh. 19 years for it. Alright. Well it's nice talking to you. Do you um just out of curiosity, do you make holy water for us? <laughs> I like, can, can bless other people. I can perform the ceremony to bless water, but it will not maintain its Potency indefinitely. Yes, the alchemist uh, holy water. <laughs> Their daily okay. preparation type. Well, mm. it's more like the bless water mm, okay. skill feat. I mean, it still might help. I don't know. Want some holy water cereal? No. Ellis, do you need holy water? No. Ew. Um, Sinky. Nasty. Like. Evelyn? Holy water? Yeah, I'm thirsty. God, I was hoping you'd say that. <laughs> Devlin I has hand him my mouth. decanter of endless water and I go t take a sip. Uh, and it's an Ormos. <laughs> it's like, wait, how is he gonna bless that? It's endless. Oh, could he? He? I mean, he can only bless what is out when he does it. <laughs> okay. Not like right. the stream. finding the feet to tell you exactly how it works. That's Sink okay. I, water. It... Yeah, it's, oh yeah, so it's very temporary, like, rounds. Oh, okay. Ooh, yeah. That's okay. I'll just say... Say hi to Zane for me. Ooh. I'll turn around and leave. Beadrith Zane is not in the realm of the Dawnflower. <laughs> but you could talk to him, right? I mean, you could pass the message on to your other angel friends. I don't know. I do know an Archon I could send word to. Fucking Melindial, I swear to God. Yeah. Oh, send, send. you guys know Melendiel? I love that dude. <laughs> yes, fantastic guy. We had a nice conversation with him. It's a cackle right now. He like flaps over. Tell me. Shit. Where did you meet my friend? Right. That will save. 
Uh, Do I have to save again? Do I have anything that helps? Uh, no, you passed, so you could just lie okay. if you wanted. Uh, you take a minus two, but, you know. Ooh, there's a good roll. Uh, we'll save 27. Okay, so that is a success for Gallus as well. You can lie, but it is a minus two penalty. I actually forgot. What was the name of the, the place? Kintaria. Kintaria. Oh, you know, I passed through Kintaria and came across him. Uh, Suriel, anything you want to add? He kind of wasn't interested at the time when I met him, but, uh, you know, you angels have so much going on. You could say the conversation was a blast. <laughs> Okay, uh, I need the two of you to roll some deceptions with well, the lying? minus two penalty. You're uh, lying by omission. That's true. Hey, that is he, form wait, of what lying. was his question? What did he ask? Where you met Melendiel? Okay, oh. so that's a natural 20. Oh, <laughs> damn. Okay. Twenty-five. Uh, that is counting the penalty? Yep. Okay. And uh, Suriel has the Ring of Lies, correct? Wait, I yes. That. Yeah, do you uh, account for the bonus from that as well? I did not. Was, wouldn't that, like, negate the the oh, yeah. ring of lies? Or ring well, it's first? a plus one, oh, so... It's only a minus. You'd get 26. a net minus. Then, yeah. yeah. Okay. So, so you say that, and he kind of relaxes. He's like, ah, oh, yeah. Like, starts to... Like, you get the sense that he has believed it. And then, Suriel, from somewhere on your person, a voice speaks up and... It sounds like your voice, but through a radio, kind of. Like, tinny. And it says, They destroyed Melendiel at Valor's Fastness. So, I was about to ask uh, before that happened. I'm actually quite curious, but it probably doesn't matter anymore. Uh, would that... Would that lie would be to impart seemingly important information inflating my status or integrate myself? Uh, I would say so. Because I have the charming well, I... liar feat. You do. And uh, when I get a critical success using the lie action, the target's attitude towards me improves by one step as though I succeeded using diplomacy to make an impression. Mm-hmm. But... <laughs> I'd like you to know, James, that me mentioning Melindiel's name was not in character. <laughs> so, like, that voice just appeared and Gallus just slowly turns to Zuriel, <laughs> wide-eyed. Mm. I was saying that out of character. I was oh. like, oh my god, right, Melindiel! Because <laughs> I had forgotten about him already. Oh, well... Since since stuff happens based off it's... of that, would you be okay saying that it was? I'll turn around wait, and Jess, say... Wait, wait, Jess, wait. Uh... No, Thuriel would not say that out loud when speaking to another angel. Mm, However, no, you already we, made can, the roll. we can do a will save, not a will save, I guess it would be a will save to see if she, well no, because she already saved. Fuck. Um, I could interrupt if that's useful. I mean... 
rolled still happened. Yeah. Oh, I yeah, don't. What Surreal was saying wasn't a lot. When she first met and spoke to Melindiel, and she wasn't admitting any admitting anything because what he asked was what was the conversation like. She just said he wasn't interested in talking to her at the time because they're so yeah. busy. Which is also why I asked you what was the question again, James, because I wanted to make sure I was even answering the question right. Right. Asking, answering the question right. Did I say that right? I don't know if I said that right. So you did say that the Melendro was not interested in you. That... Well, wasn't interested in talking after he had already mentioned Melendio's name, yeah. Right. Well, you still Which said Which wasn't that. a lie. Which wasn't a lie, either. He literally said, I don't have time for this, and left. <laughs> it, that, true. True. Which is why Suriel specifically said that. And well, it's perhaps like... he has an ability that caused that voice to happen, so... Yeah, I don't know. If... If that indeed sparks um, coming from her, I will go wait. And I want him to turn around to look at me. Well, let's give James a minute. Clearly okay. doing the think thunk. Yeah. I'm... Yeah, it's... Yeah, I'm... Yeah, I... I'm, I do, just because that... That result happened based on the way that it, it seemed at the time, I think I do just... I would, I would kind of prefer to just play it out as it is. Okay. And... If that comes out of her chest, I'll or go wait. The fuck. And I want him to turn around. <laughs> I will be on to my knees. And I will look up to him. I killed Melendial. It's technically not wrong. This is my sin. You speak the truth. You are blasphemers. I am the blasphemer. Only I. Are you trying to convince Cause... him that just you? Yes. Do you wish to repent your evil ways and live a life of righteousness? Will you atone for your crime? Before I do, I have to be a follower of Saren Ray? <laughs> Do I really have to? No. You must only commit to living a life of good. <sighs> no. And I cast Chilling Darkness. Damn, I was gonna be like, enough of this for us, Divine Lands. Sorry, just pulling out her rapier. Like, fuck, man. Um, so as that happens, uh, I'm gonna say these two effects uh, occur simultaneously, after which will be initiative time. Uh, but, Charlie, you feel a 
burning on your forehead as though oh, no. as though you'd been touched by a branding iron. Shit. No. Uh, and I need a will save. Oh no! Oh, Charlie, no! Will save. I mean, you okay. have pretty good will. It's just your roll was shit yeah. last time. That is a twenty-four. Uh, Charlie, that is a failure. Oh <laughs> no, Charlie! So, what the rest of you see is the holy symbol of Saren Ray burn itself into Charlie's forehead. What? And really? Charlie, for the next 24 hours, you take a minus one status penalty to AC and saves. No! A minus two status penalty to any resistances. And weakness two to holy damage. Oh no! Okay, I gotta write this down. So, minus one uh, mm. penalty to AC and, save. and saves. Yeah, if you don't have any resistances, you can skip that part. I don't oh, okay. Think I, do. I don't think I have yeah, any resistances. You don't, you don't have any resistances. Yeah, because I'm human. But, I don't, yeah. Well, yeah, but like. <laughs> say from the spell resist energy or any items like anything like that oh okay i, that, mm, I don't like, think uh, i have would anything would that also work on armor runes too probably well no I, the armor runes does um, well are you talking like um, yeah i'm talking about energy resistances like fire or cold Oh, cool. I just oh then, okay. no, I don't yeah. have that. Um, yeah, and uh, then... Weakness 2 to holy damage. Okay. It's not huge, but it's still annoying. Okay. But the, the mark will go away in 24 hours, though, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah, this is a brand of the impenitent. <laughs> okay. Good news, it can only do this once a day. Well, that's good. Yeah. Uh, as as I recoil and uh, grip my forehead, um, I want to lean forward and then <sighs> try to make good girls, but never could be one. And I'll cast Chilling Darkness. Okay, roll me that attack roll. Okay. Ooh, I gotta... I gotta get the cup. My cat knocked over the cup, but I need the cup. That's probably yeah. why I've been rolling shit. Yeah, your first <laughs> expert spell attack. Ooh, yeah! You're right. Ooh. Okay. Uh, chilling Darkness... Plus 15. So, would you fucking know it's a natural goddamn 20? Oh my god. There's something oh about chilling god. darkness on angels and what? like. Yoink. Damn it. Draw the card! Okay. This might, might not need to roll a initiative anyway, but let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Ooh, Draining Strike. Ooh. Target loses one random prepared spell or spell slot. Does, does it have that? Yes. Oh, cool. Okay. And okay. still double damage? Yeah, yeah, it doesn't say normal damage in the card, so... Hell yeah. Okay, so double damage, so... Uh, what is that, 20 dice? Yeah, 20 d6. Uh, let's see, yeah. 5d6 cold, 5d6 spirit, because it's an angel with the holy trait. So, yeah, 20 d6. Great. It was, like, about to cast what? Divine Lance, and then it just explodes. And you know damn well I want to just roll 20 dice. Yeah. 
Uh, I, welcome, I gotta... Devlin. You are being blessed with this visage with your first day with us. Devlin's you flying missed... in high. <laughs> uh, you, you will. I, I'll have to send it to you, but you'll have to see when I rolled thirty three zero. It was triple damage. Mm -hmm. Three six. The, this the, time. the card that she drew was just triple damage. It was insane. Um, it was that's specifically Devlin's... triple if it's a celestial. If it's a celestial, that's right. Right. All right. Uh, the shadowy blast going off in front of his face. Devil's just blinking like in uh, in chat. <laughs> yeah. The blink, right. dude. Whoa. Yeah, like whoa. Oh, this is twenty d six in this cup. God damn! God damn! Yeah. Oh no! Oh, oh no. no! Oh no! Jess is doing math. No! Oh no! She's she doing didn't. math. She's doing I'm math. Doing so could try to save me, buddy. <laughs> to save time, I'm gonna call him out and somebody just add him for me. How does that sound? Well. What I was saying is, like, pair off ones that add up to ten, and set them okay. at, like... Okay, four, eight, nine, ten. Four, eight, ten. Nine, ten. Six. He's doing math! He's doing math! I should probably change the music to like... Battle music. Countdown timer. Right. Oh no! Oh no! Jess is doing math! Well, appropriately enough for me, my my background music has just kicked over to the Ultra Instinct theme. Which, like... Uh, talking's a free action, right? Yeah. I'm a little jealous, Charlie. I had a lot to confess. 72 points. E and you remember, weakness 10 makes that 82. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, or 67, 8, 70. Yep, 72. Yep. Oh, man. Just blasts him with this. Oh. Is it dead? No. Oh, oh fuck with this the, uh, fucking chilling darkness, man. Oh, it's not that. Yeah, it's a real, real goat spell. Uh, then... I will continue with my Divine Lance. With the simultaneous attack. Uh, well, that's definitely not a crit. Fortunately, it's only an 18, so I just missed. I was distracted by the crit. And it shoots one. <laughs> Alright. Hey, I'm Charlie. We will... Roll initiative for a probably short combat starting next time. Next time. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. This has been another exciting episode of Path Inners. We went shopping, then we're fighting an angel. Yep. Maybe this one will stick around when it dies. Maybe. Let's hope. That'd be real annoying if, if we had Charlie use up her spouse slot just to, for this to not stick around when it dies. 
Right. We just need the staff, right? No, no uh, this is Shogi. Jigaji. That's yeah, okay. That's a different thing. We need to kill. Remember, we said we're going to the boneyard first, then to the hunting lodge. Where's the Got Shogi it. Is. We're trying to I'm cut the heart out of this bad boy. Yeah, I can't. I can't smithereens this dude yet. All right, that is it for this week. Let us go around and say who we are. Who are we? Let's start with Liam. Hi, I'm Liam. Uh, you can find me. And uh, fun fact about Devlin, uh, he has no fun facts this week. Next person. Oni. Dice up right now that I worked really hard on. It took forever because materials. So many materials. But you can find those on my Ko-Fi. Um, fun fact about Surreal the reason she doesn't like drugs is because she doesn't like to alter her state of mind at any point in time. She needs to constantly be perceptive. She's not paranoid at all. I don't know what you're talking about. She's a square. Yes. <laughs> Yes. Oh, me. Hey, I'm Jess. Um, the um, fuck around and find out a uh, level seven wizard that you all witch. know and love. Witch. Witch. Did I say witch or did I say bitch? You said, you wizard. said wizard. Wizard. Oh my god. Well, maybe it's a I don't know a hint for the future. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. Shut up! I don't know. Oh, Just no, kidding. I totally and, wasn't looking at her other character sheet. No, <laughs> that's a secret. That's a secret. A secret. Don't secret. tell anybody. No, my but, secret. Uh, it's gonna be the time skip can... where we skip two years. And now she's a wizard. Two years <laughs> later, and she's this high grand wizard. Uh, you can mm, find me. Maybe not uh, that. <laughs> <laughs> you can find me at Twitter Topaz underscore romance, uh, the blue sky Topaz romance, no underscore. If you're a fan on Tumblr, you can just find you just two words, Topaz romance. Um, fun fact about Charlie, um, her last name, I was very, very close to putting, giving her the last name Jabroni. Oh my yeah. God. Was very close. Might as well just name yourself Charlie Gabagool. <laughs> that was also on the list. <laughs> Charlie Salami. Hey. Charlie, hey, forget about it. <laughs> Fungu, what? Hey, make That's... it a pizza. <laughs> All right. You like That's the mozzarella? Bad. That's enough of that. The Capicola, eh. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's uh, go to James. Uh, yeah. So uh, I am on uh, on Twitter and on Blue Sky as the Ramble Rouser. Uh, I also am on Twitter as at Path Enders Pod, which, you know, if you were here on Friday last week and wondering where we were, it's because we did a Saturday show and stuff like that is uh dispat dispense on the twitter so make sure you check that out for those updates uh or just to send me stupid memes because that will make me laugh like here to drink rum and blast cum <laughs> <laughs> that we all lost our minds over and probably created some pretty significant dead air uh. so uh yeah i'm i'm an easy laugh that may that have been scrapes. when I forgot to hit the play button, but, you know. I don't remember. We'll find out when their episode goes live. Hi, I'm Grapes. You can find me at I'm Grapes, or I am Grapes, or I underscore I am Grapes, or I'm Grapes, spelled G-R-A-E-P-S. If you've seen Widest Kids, you know, you get it. Uh, Yeah. I mean, I don't really go on social media much. It's kind of bad for your health, mental health. 
And I already have enough problems with that as is. Uh, yeah. So, uh, I was kind of curious what would happen if I would have went into and confessed. But, you know, Charlie stepped up and I was like, no, no, let her cook. Cook a meal. Yeah, let her, let her cook. Let her cook. Now you smell the, uh, smell burning flesh. Well, I mean, it's, it's cold, isn't it cold damage? So it'd be like freezing flesh. I thought it was fire damage. Or not even, I, I, chilling, did I even get damage darkness? from that? Oh, I thought you meant me getting the brand branded. I'm oh. sorry. Oh, there's that too. Yeah, no damage from that, just penalties. Yeah. Need to get you a headband to cover that up. Just push my banes down. Yeah. And that's today's episode. Yay. Let's get on out of here. Everyone say goodbye. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. Wait, hold on. Who in the party would drink the bong water? I'm sorry, what? Charlie, obviously. Yeah, I already mm -hmm. said Charlie. Yeah, I mean, I know that was like an hour ago, but I just see it now. And that's gross. I mean, Don't drink bong water. If you dare her enough, she'll do about anything. Mm, <clears throat> probably, mm, you know, you live your best life, darling. Uh, to she me, probably Charlie... would drink it and then barf and like rally. Yeah, to me, Charlie is the type who drinks the bong water, not because she doesn't know any better, but because she doesn't believe in wasting it. Yeah, I would drink yeah, I... the bong water if you uh, convinced me that uh, only a narc wouldn't drink the bong water. I don't think Note Gallus would ever drink bong water. That's just disgusting. Gallus barely drinks water water. Yeah. Cause fish Good fucking it. fish fucking that never touch the stuff. <laughs> what about the stuff that produces alcohol? Anyway, are huh? we are we still? <laughs> no, on, we're are still, we still alive. on the Goodbye, stream? Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. 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 Goodbye.